That's why these group, that's why these groups be going solo. It depends. <laughs> Yeah, when you Depends have to split with what? old people, you like, I can do this all myself. How e- yeah. epic the feature is. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a fan of group splitting up too much, though. Me either. I like them saying it because it's like solo, other than I didn't mind new, new edition. edition. I was going to say, other new edition, most of the solos, I'd be like, man. I didn't mind Justin Timberlake. Yeah, yeah I didn't Justin like, Timberlake. Yeah, I didn't mind Beyonce. See, I like new editions because they got back I like together. Destiny so as Child a fan, Beyonce. you got to watch like a I drama. In love. Mm. Yeah. I think, oh, on. fire. With new edition, you got to watch like a drama unfold in front of your eyes. Like, are they gonna get back together? All right, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm with it. Each tour they came back with, I'm like, oh yeah. <coughs> I prefer they stay together, but I get why they don't. It just depends on the the projects. Not everybody gonna make it though. Yeah. That'd be the other part. Like, like, a, like a Wham. Man. I like George Michael better than the other guy, than Wham. The other guy never even... Yeah. <laughs> but he was part of Wham. He never even got a chance to... <laughs> he was, I don't even know if he had a solo record. Right. He was Wham. <laughs> but the songs were Wham. I guess I don't mind the solo long as the group still do group stuff. I think that's what it is. Like, still do y'all... Because, like, 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 do your own thing, but then... Live um, the homie dream. Yeah, come come do what we, you know, we here for. The shit y'all talk about as kids... Yeah, like I, I be like liking, give give us why we fell in love with y'all, why yeah, we started liking y'all. Like, I get that with a group though, it's hard to keep that magic. Yeah, especially oh, if everybody grows. Think about when 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 groups do come back together, it, it don't be it don't feel the same. When Cisco went back to Drew Hill, we didn't care about the album. Mm-mm. Now, if he would have flopped yeah. and went back, he flopped. Eventually, that second album, no, his second album flopped yeah. immediately. Not the first one though. So he still had a little swag and was yeah. like, I ain't coming back. And then it got cold on stage on that second yeah. one. It was like, where would he? How y'all, <laughs> how y'all feel when they add in a new member to the group? It don't be the same. It don't be the same. Who flashed? Although, no, no addition. They added Johnny. Johnny. Johnny Gill was a nice addition. They added Johnny. And that was, Destiny that was albums. better. You think so? They got better. Not on stage. Yeah. The stage show, the dancing wasn't the same. But he changed their sound. Vocally. They, they yeah. got older. Like <laughs> We've been running for two and a half minutes? I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah, Johnny Gill was a nice add-on. He was yeah. a nice add-on, but... He, Drew Hill? I didn't mind when they added that one dude. They had that two good songs. That one was <laughs> his name. I don't know his name. I don't know. <laughs> he, he wasn't. I don't know that. He wasn't. He was but he had, no, but he had the, when Cuomo they had, was. yeah, and they, when they came out with who, two of their hits was him. Uh, on the one, yeah. The, uh, I Should Be I should be and, and Love uh, You or something like yeah, that. I yeah, I love you. I like yeah. him. I, like, I love you. I don't know the name. I don't be knowing names of people like that, though. Mm. He got to sing a little bit on I Love You. Mm-hmm. When Destiny's Child added people, it was cool. Michelle. Well, they was in and out, yeah. And they stay with Did Michelle, Michelle make them and better? Destiny. I mean, or did she just blend Farrah. in? I can't really say she made them better. Although that Destiny Fulfilled album is, is dope. Yeah. I like it better than Survivor. But I mean, yeah, I she was a notable, a, a notable addition. Yeah. Right. I say that. She right. stayed. I don't mind. People remember stay. Michelle. You know yeah. her name. I know her name. Yeah. Farrah yeah, was there too. But you know Michelle more for like falling no, being in no, sure. No, we knew she's a I don't I can't of, tell you uh, I can't tell you like, yo, Michelle child. killed that. The bridges, bro. Yeah. And she's Michelle, a part of Michelle. Oh Destiny's snap, child. Michelle went off. Well, which song did Michelle go off? <laughs> I don't know Destiny's Child songs like that, so I wouldn't know. I, right. no one's been like, yo, we play that Michelle part again. Did y'all see? Fast forward. But you know what got played? That ain't what you said. What you said was nobody knows Michelle other than falling. That's not true. She's more popular for falling than. No, she's, no, she's dynamic. not. No, she's not, she's a part of Destiny's Child. <laughs> sure, like, yeah. she's a part of that. Them. Got your attention, but yeah, no, no on, she is a part. She fell of late, the late. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, was wasn't. 106 in Park. Later, they <laughs> already had albums. We're talking about yeah. 15 years ago. It was late now, mm-hmm. but, but they I'm had saying. a whole album before. The she fall. was already a sure. Yeah. She was a member of Destiny's yeah. Child. Not saying that. I'm not saying she wasn't a member. That's what of she's known Child. for being a member of Destiny's Child. And I'm busting falling. her ass repeatedly. <laughs> like, no. Beyonce repeatedly? fell down a flight of stairs. Flight of stairs. Yeah, she got. A she was already in the Beyonce, yeah. but in the second. And Michelle way. was already a member. This nigga. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all getting you frustrated? Yeah, because he just brickheaded. <laughs> we're, not, we're not gonna act like Michelle's that girl. This, nigga. Let's, let's not do that. What are we talking about? No, you're changing your argument. You're changing. You keep moving the goalposts. <laughs> your original statement was nobody knows her for being a member of Destiny's Child, which is not true. That's what she's known for. I don't. Think I said that I think she's I said she's more popular for falling, no, which is not, not true. She's uh, yeah, to like, me she is. 
<laughs> well, well, you're, you're, you're out the well, loop. Yeah, the, the, the minority doesn't speak for the majority. You didn't hear Candy Rain till last week. <laughs> yeah. So, so who right. are you? Oh, sorry, I didn't enjoy a kid's song, guys. My bad. <laughs> you were a kid when it came out. <laughs> I didn't hear it until I was an adult. Of course. It's a child because song. Because you're out the loop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I wasn't out the loop with Destiny's Child. There Apparently you, you are if you said you What's only know her from third album? Who, Destiny's Child? We're back again? Here's the, the, the <laughs> trimester? I don't fucking know. The exactly. That's the point. Fun. <laughs> Something wrong with it that. It sounds like it, that could have been it. The trimester. The third album? The trimester. Is funny. <laughs> That's funny. That's uh, funny. Chaz Bayless. <laughs> <laughs> it just needs to be saying stuff, stuff, man. I don't give a shit just about Michelle. She, 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 cause she definitely blended in well right. with Destiny Child. But you could have said, I, Chaz Rogers, I yeah. know her for it. You, said, I, you I, said people. I am the one talking, guys. Everything but you said I people. Say, no, you represented what, people. We, yeah. need, we need one of those buttons that go, this person, don't need, what are responsible for? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He represents right. himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, Weird out that issues like are not responsible for everything. There's a bunch of people out there with Chaz's opinion. I heard a lot of people give Michelle Flack. Give her flack. But what flag is she known for? Yeah. Yeah, she gonna catch she flack. Yeah, but she's not yeah. known for a fall. Right. Nah. That's just no. dumb. Like somebody every time she performs might just pulls a rug from underneath her. No. It's in my trap door. It goes. They've all fallen. <laughs> oh, no. oh that, I thought that was a song of hers. I'm way off. Huh. Oh, Tanya R, you agree uh-huh. with Chad? Sorry? Oh, okay. <laughs> but you know, what do I know? <laughs> Well, you don't know sure. We're out the loop, Tanya R. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Clearly. Tanya R is out the loop. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, all of us. I'm sorry, Tanya. Just us. She's just doing this to make you feel good. I appreciate you, Tanya. <laughs> you know I appreciate Support. it. Nobody else in the comments or anything. But, you know, never happens every week. That, oh, no, that, that somebody comment, agrees with me. You find that one comment that agree with you. Right. <laughs> right. That's, all, that's all you need. Yeah, that one, one comment. See, see, <laughs> see, LBX3926 It's hella, it's hella other ones. This nigga <laughs> right. buying the one time. That's all that matters. All I need is one, baby. All I need is one, Mike. <coughs> We're back with another episode of Daddy Issue. <laughs> no Show Craig is back. Yeah. I want to apologize. For, uh, no <laughs> call, no show. I want to apologize. Uh, I was Inc- incapacitated and uh, I apologize. It was such a good no show, I forgot you didn't show. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It was so good. I was like, Craig, they never expect anything. <laughs> what you mean? It was such a good I'm going to keep that on my mind, DC. It was smooth. smooth. <laughs> watch as the week's coming. Let's go. It was smooth. <laughs> yeah. Smooth Craig every was... time you miss too, DC. <laughs> Craig was like, I'm going to be late, yo. Yeah, he was <laughs> late, all right. <laughs> I was stuck at the airport. If y'all flew out anywhere this weekend, you would know what was happening. I do besides know phones work. Hawaii, and uh, let's uh, give a prayer to everybody in Hawaii. And oh, you're trying to deflect. Yeah. You. That, no, you're no, right, deflate. Good old deflect. I'm showing what the importance uh, of what we should be talking about is. <laughs> no, you're but, right. That uh, state's yeah, been you know, through a lot. Uh, then, you know, there's something else happening in Atlanta where all the planes was grounded. So mm, I was there. It ruined. Then you. Y'all mm. did get shut down. You know what? My phone was working. That's what's crazy. <laughs> mm-hmm. No matter how many delays I got, my phone What service worked. do you have? It might have been a service provider. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I was just crazy. trying to get out. It's crazy. That's crazy. No, Every I mean, flight you I took text. <laughs> was delayed. New York, I remember. Every single one. I was just trying to get out. But you know what? Your phone worked. My phone was working. Mm. It's crazy. You know, I was out checking on my parents, making sure uh, <laughs> the health was right. And, How are um, they doing? Uh, Pops is doing uh, better, you know. Yeah, he's good. sometimes too strong for his own good. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, uh, yeah. You it's know, very noble back, you know. Yeah. Let's send prayers out to Pops. Amen. Amen. Pops. Yeah, you, know, so, you know what I'm talking about? You, feel? you know, then had to rush back because, you know, my, gr- uh, my daughter graduated. Oh, Congratulations. Yeah. 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 Congratulations. Yeah. You yeah. Yeah. you. Yeah. You showed up for that? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, okay. For sure. Team I'm, college sure. grad oh, daughters over knee. here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Over yeah. here on this side. Now I have to drive Sage up to Humboldt this weekend. Start his his basketball career off. Y'all was on time? Here? No, Humboldt. Drive. No, I still you have to time. drive him up. Oh, this you got to take. Him. Yeah, you gonna be on time. You gonna, you gonna pull a no show? Uh, nah, man. Come on, let's not do all that. <laughs> hey, Tony, I ain't even gonna look your way. You gonna be? You gonna be there? I for can't him? even look at DC. <laughs> hey, Chad, man. <laughs> <laughs> what about Michelle? I, was I mean, there's something about we should be Michelle. celebrating right now. <laughs> yeah. about you, then you gonna be there yeah, for? Yeah, man. Oh, so. man. <laughs> So how y'all doing out there, <laughs> <laughs> ladies? Hello, y'all TV where the ladies at? Hey, TV ladies, make some noise. <laughs> where my couples at? <laughs> Clap for yourselves, man. Give them a round. Of applause. Oh, you start moving the mic. I was completely I, wrong. Craig was one second away from moving the mic going around. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's crazy. Out here. Crazy. <laughs> Dating in LA. I apologize. Mm-hmm. I was completely crazy. wrong. How you feel about them going to school? 
It's going to be weird. I'm an empty nester. Uh, I've never been an empty me. nester. I'm going to be Craig for once, not dad all the damn mm. time. Join me. If How dad, is if, it? What do you do? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you always Just moving. hanging around. Just, just hanging around. Just hanging around. Sliding around the house, house Who do you complain to? <laughs> house Jimmy, the cats? so funny, Nothing. bro. Oh, I, maybe I need an animal to be like, get your ass down. Who, who <laughs> left the mess? Just hanging around. Midnight was, uh, <laughs> he kept standing on my laptop last night, pressing buttons and changing configurations. And then I tried to catch him one time, dropped the whole laptop, unhooked my headset. Mm. <laughs> Midnight keep you fresh. I need to think about something Something I need to yeah, do. Yeah, just get a parakeet or something. I was going to just start Fish. popping up more on the road with them. You keep saying that. You, you I've, I've been no popping show. up. I've been popping Craig up. Ain't coming up. up. I've been popping up. up. He's got more time now. No, I got all the time. The right. strike. You got less responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah first got shit to do. The yeah. strike yeah. is real. And y'all think it's going to end no time soon? Mm -hmm. I, I heard they sitting down at the table now. Yeah, they went back with an offer, but... They're breaking bread? They went back with an offer, but then, you know, with SAG, SAG's like, we'll take it. And we're like, uh, we're we're supposed to be so that's all quick. <laughs> SAG was right behind them. <laughs> they they coming close to a deal, and we're like, I thought we was all going to wait till nope. we all got a deal. No, oh, so SAG accepted something. <laughs> no, did not. Director's Guild oh. accepted something. We were, It was supposed to be like, they thought the three were going to strike. And then Director's Guild was like, we'll sell out. <laughs> they took that and money. They sold out? Oh, wow. yeah, I, I mean, from what I don't know their I don't know their deal, but from what I've heard, they have a, they took a bad deal. Don't that set y'all back? Though? Yes, for sure. And now SAG is giving vouchers to actors mm -hmm. to you know go complete the projects that were started before the strike. So it's like if they gonna have sources of income, and we asked out as writers waiting. I mean, because now, because like right now with SAG on, you can only do so much work. Like I think you can only really do like game shows. You can do like one of those like uh, I think you can do. Like America's Funniest Video, stuff yeah, like that. You definitely can. You see what the that. award shows look like already yeah. without writers. Mm. So, but then, you know, there's a, so there's not a ton of work, but like when, when, because they can still do reality shows if SAG mm -hmm. didn't, if SAG didn't strike. You did mm -hmm. some reality shows, Ken? Mm -hmm. oh. But, but with SAG, <laughs> but with SAG striking, <laughs> that killed a lot of their options, which was great for mm -hmm. us. Cause then it's like, yeah, now nah, what you guys gonna, you guys gonna do nothing but game shows for all this time or whatever, you know? Yeah. You guys gotta do NBC late night specials and mm -hmm. 2020s, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, but if they go back to work, then it's a problem. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, mm. it's a problem. But then it just puts more pressure on us. And then we won't really know until, you know, that first fall schedule, TV wise, mm -hmm. you know, what that would look like. So, forgive my ignorance. How much, I mean, like, how much more did the uh, did you, the writers want? I don't know like, the exact yeah, Not a lot at all. It's it's not a. From what I understand, is I want to say it was it was in a, a round of like one. I might have this wrong. I thought it was three percent. See, I, and, it, see, and I want to say I heard one percent. I heard that's what they came back with. That's what that's what they came yeah, back with. We AM, wanted TM, three. PM, blah blah blah. And it, like, but it's a percentage percentage out of dollar amount because. They won't release a ton of streamer numbers, so we don't know what they're actually oh. making. If they release those streamer numbers, the stock would plummet. And they've been making them for over what a decade for now. For sure. But we you know when they did that deal in two thousand eight, streaming wasn't what it is now, right? Mm -hmm. it was, it's not like now it is the thing. And so if they don't release numbers, it's hard to go argue. So you had to go on a percentage base. But then they had to release their numbers. We don't know if Netflix makes money or not. Right? Yep. Yeah. Right. No, they <laughs> like, they're making they, something. We we uh, assume because no. But they also uh, borrow no. a ton of money. Yeah. Netflix yeah. borrows billions of dollars every year. They always go in debt. Because they have to keep up so much money. So they borrow so, so much money. Maybe they're embarrassed to release the numbers. Like, we Yeah, broke. that's the problem. I don't know if they're embarrassed, <laughs> but they <laughs> also might make money. Or they might be making a ton of money, and we just don't But know. But also, they have a global market, right? So they're putting more money into Africa. That's why they're like, man, fuck y'all. America? We, we, it's Korea hell, is it's our money for, maker yeah, right now. Nigeria's shows. coming in right now. Brazil. Bollywood. They're like, bo yeah, they're like, we got so many other markets, but it's different than here. But mm -hmm. Netflix is a... They're not a studio company. They are a uh, a tech company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're a tech company. Mm -hmm. So they have information. They sell information. They have other ways of making money. Mm -hmm. That is not 100% what they do. And they're not releasing that info. They're, they're, no, they're never going to release that info. They're, they're, never gonna they're not that. releasing their revenue, like how much money they're making. It's always based oh, so on like too, they're making too subscribers. Much. It, but uh, we don't no, know. No. The way they cut people, the way the companies work, you can almost tell if it's going good or bad. They start cutting everybody from certain teams to be like, it's either a profit margin because... We're losing money on a little bit, and we want to make more. So cut this team. We don't need it. Like that's why a lot of people got laid off last year. They cut off thousands of people. Oh damn! But that and then the thing is, like when the show comes, I was like, it was watched by this many people, this many <laughs> right, minutes. Like, right. what does that translate into dollars? Did you get more subscribers? And then they keep upping the prices 
of shit. And that's then cutting off crazy. people would be like, all right, you password sharing, and now you got to pay for it. They, they, like, yeah, that up, they, they yeah, tried, yeah, they tried that, and they was like, oh, we're sorry. We're no, sorry. It, it, it exists now. You cannot. You yeah, have they to block pay. You know, Netflix yeah. is yeah. like the ultimate uh, YouTube star mm-hmm. where they have millions and millions of views, and you're like, oh, they getting paid. And it's like, yeah, they you find out, you're like, oh, oh I shit, thought they yeah. were getting paid. Now, somebody, some, somebody's, somebody's getting, getting paid. Somebody's right. getting paid for sure, but, but that's how these not, companies work. The, the people that need to get paid are the not. The talent, but not the people, the creed, the writers, right. producers. Well, well, but then the, 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 talent, the talent that doesn't even know how much they get paid, because you might have video do one number, and then number, another video do a number close to that, and your check is not remotely the same. Yeah. Oh. Talent, the talent's getting paid like up front. Up and then run. the thing is that nobody's getting residuals. And so these shows are live on forever. For sure. Right. And, and that's the, the streaming problem. services. Or they get pulled. Like you could do a show today and then they go on Netflix and they'll be there for like a month or two and they'd be like, well, we're just going to take it off. Mm, You've seen wow. that happen. Like your favorite show is gone. Like I was going like, to watch it. It's no gone. And, and it's they gone. Bring back, some, sometimes they bring back a lot of old stuff too. Yeah, mm-hmm. licensing, do that kind of Which stuff. Which I, those people I, I'd be a fan of too. I'd be like, oh, yeah. Then you also have TV shows that are living on YouTube that are getting millions and millions of views and the writers don't get a percentage of it. Yep. We don't know where that money. So this goes. is kind of like why Chappelle was like, "Don't watch." Remember? Um, yeah. Well, well, I think was... Chappelle's thing was a, a little different because he signed a he signed a bad deal, right? He okay. signed a bad deal that wasn't in his favor. Or Comedy Central. But no, it was Comedy but, Central. Right, but he was also like, "Man, I was thirty. What else was I gonna do?" And he right. took that deal. He outplayed his contract. Right. <laughs> right. Pretty much. Yeah. And then and then when they had, but then you know he so had his when own Comedy Central feelings. went and sold it to Netflix, Dave didn't see none Not of that. Dollar, so yeah. he was like, "Whoa, how are you gonna take me and sell me?" And it was on HBO. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So it was like, don't watch it because don't make it like lucrative for them right. to yes. think that they got something. That's what and Netflix came, they showed integrity because they removed it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, because they made them a. A bunch of money when they when he when put he on his specials. specials, right? Yeah, they was like, "We'll listen." We're like, the Dave business. Hey, 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 you know, I also think that writers need to say no more to stuff that's bad deals. You know, you can always just be like, we're not going to do that, but somebody would do it. Well, yeah, that's, that's, also, that's, yeah. also, that's literally yeah. the problem. We're also fighting against the AI writing. Sure. That they're trying to be like, oh, we'll just have AI writing. Did they say, what was the proposal for that? It was something crazy, like 90 mil or something like that? They were looking, what? AI, like a proposed AI job or something like that. It was oh, like yeah, the amount of money they invested. For somebody. Yeah. yeah somebody to, to basically a hire to... a person to do an AI job and it was something like millions of dollars. And they were just saying that we can't pay y'all like these little percentages for what y'all want from the shows. That oh, when you start on. seeing what those CEOs get, you be like, "Hey, y'all got this bread, dog." Yeah, yeah. They, oh, they, they hundred percent. Y'all got, y'all got this money. Yeah, the problem with all this stuff, entertainment in general, is you know, it's, a, it's everybody's so hungry though. Somebody gonna do Somebody it. Gonna do it. They Somebody gonna do it. Somebody gonna do it. I mean, we, none of us were around, but when that strike was happening with the uh, at the comedy store years ago. They were like, it was still comedians that were like, oh, I'll perform. For yeah. sure. Hell yeah. yeah. See, more stage it. time for us if they don't strike. Entertainment <laughs> <laughs> yeah. people going to come in there. And yeah. it. Earlier in the business, they claim they uh, blamed actors for not having business sense. And it's not that. It's You can have all the business sense in the world, but if they're hiding stuff and even hiding it to the, to the lawyers, there's nothing you could do until mm-hmm. everybody don't do nothing. I yeah. actually, I actually hope that they do do these AI movies, and I do hope that they do all this stuff, and I hope that Hollywood hits this big. Gar- they're in a garbage can era right now, where there's more trash than good stuff out, and I hope it creates a whole art renaissance where people go back into the theaters and people go back into stand up and people do watch independent movies and YouTube because a lot of those movies we watched in the nineties, like they're not going to make a Sandlot now. Right, like yeah. they're not, they're not. That's not a movie that's gonna be lucrative yeah. for them to do so now. Right? Everybody want to do something big, like for sure. Marvel. Everybody's Tony gonna, get a, everybody's gonna hit a billion dollars. Right. So yeah. I am, I am really hopeful that they do fall on their face, and but that, that would, but that would only work probably if the people that are not in the business stop watching. Well, I, that's you know what's what I mean? happening. We always hear about superhero fatigue, right? We hear about these like mm-hmm. movie fatigue, like we hear right. about these things. Those things are are happening now, and people are still want to go out. It's happening in the music. What you mean? Like hip hop ain't hitting the numbers it used to hit. People tired of the bullshit. Like you can't just keep putting out trash and people just keep <coughs> taking trash. Right. So I'm, I'm like, very hopeful sucks. that, man, people go into stand up clubs, people go into theaters, people yeah. go into museums. Like, cause, you know, there's, there's all this art AI, right? right? And so, I, like, I do hope that people go watch 
live stuff and you do get to do independent movies and they show up to the screenings of these movies, you know? Yeah. Right. I, don't think, I don't think live performances are ever going to be like tremendous. You can't really. Right. So far. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. live, live is just better. Live Everything. Is just, yeah. People want to get out the you house. You got to take your girl out. That's what I always say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got to take your girl yeah. out. So I live. hope they do all this dumb shit. I hope it all burns in their face and I really hope you do get to <clears> do a whole renaissance of this era of, of art and all these people who, who've been dope get to be like, you know, we've been here. All these actors who've been dope, right. you know what I mean? I'm like, it's a it's a really open lane now. You start seeing, like, you don't have to just regurgitate bullshit. And there's a lot of But then when that gets hot again, they're going to film that and then try to put it back. Put we'll, it we'll, be back we'll be back in the 70s and the 80s. We'll be right there. And it'll be black content, right? That'll get us out. And they'll build their money and they'll go off and do the rinse and repeat what they've been doing yeah. for The truth for is, independent films used to fund the whole <laughs> industry. Low-budget films funded the whole industry because they were filming them for five to ten million and if it hit, it was sixty right. to hundred yeah. million. So they were like, "Cool, now we're gonna put this in Superman. We're gonna put this in right. Marvel mm-hmm. movies." Just like like the black exploitation movies. Mm-hmm. Like what was it? MGM they saved. Yeah, it was MGM, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm mean, almost like, you know how many uh, James Bond movies, movies that got yeah. fed yeah. off of <laughs> yeah. Dolomite, right? right. For sure. <laughs> you know, 100%. I was like, that's, I can yeah. Never, that's I can never pay homage to stuff like that. Because they'll never black. just come out yeah. and say because it's black. They're not gonna talk about how in Living Color they Martin have saved Fox and all and launched all. Save Fox. How Michael C- Jackson, CW. Yeah. La- we Ma- Michael CW. Uh, Jackson, what he did for MTV. Like yeah. they never, they don't they never talk about black that. Talent we did yeah. Fox networks. and CW. Show sure yeah. did. CW was WB and UPN. They merged. Yeah. They were like, why are we competing? Let's take all the we blacks. Put WB. them on one. Sure did. Mm-hmm. UP sure did. Hundred percent launched all those, bro. I see it happening with Bounce right now. Oh really? Oh yeah. I'm just like, oh, I see what's going on. They starting to bring white shows over? <laughs> Not yet, but but you, when you start seeing the quality go up and their budgets are coming up, right? It's going to be called, they'll do another name change, right? Mm-hmm. They'll do a name change. This used to be bounced, bounce, but it's- For sure. Yeah. It's, it's 100% coming. It's, it was white owned. I, I, the script's on? I can't remember who owns it now, but it's white owned now. It was right. black owned, but it's coming. It's coming. Bounce was black owned? Mm-hmm. So was it black folks that be selling? Well, like, it's the same thing. It's like, hey, you guys do this show for less money, mm-hmm. right? And then we'll get advertisers in, and it'll build. It's the same thing. It's the same mm-hmm. process. Damn. Did it's y'all happy. strike? Did you actually go out there and strike? I've been on the picket line. Okay. I went yeah. out there Twice. once. I didn't go a lot. It's hot, it's hot out there. It didn't, <laughs> feel like a, it didn't feel like a strike to me. <laughs> It's like uh, I wanted people out there giving speeches and yeah, I'm not a, I'm not speeches. a chanter. I found out. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I didn't nah. like witty You'll be signs. out there having a good time. I'm like man, this is serious business. Yeah, this be like, like, hey, when you when you pull out, up because because when, when you go to the black <laughs> strikes, like with the black folks, be it's live, dog. It's a yeah. good time. But then I'm also like, oh, it's hot. You get one of those. Yeah, man. You know, it's exhausting. This ain't no good time. If you see people out there having fun, are you gonna be like, they're taking it serious? Are you gonna be like, ah, they they come there. You come there, be angry for. A hundred days, my nigga. Like it, to to a certain extent, like you have to bring some kind of joy to what's going on, even though that the message is very clear. The, like, you can't just you be there and be mad every single day. I don't know if that's even. That's, yeah, what we that's how the old, that's how the old strikes used to be. Is, used we to be bring like, some fun. The, thing you is don't the, the point the is line. the point is already been proven across the, the board. Like it the CEO, that's no, what we need to strike. On, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm the saying not strikes, from us. They look pissed back in the day. The yeah. construction yeah. and all that. Yeah. Like, you better not cross the line. Yeah, they were fighting. Yeah. They were fighting. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. They used to hire mob people. Right. And it lasts two fits. weeks, three weeks. It was flannels and serious This one is because the CEOs are like, we don't, we already from the jump before the strike even happened, they were like, we don't care. We'll let y'all go broke. So, they cut trees down. They Man, cut the shit cut down. That's petty. They, petty is they took the sidewalk up, I think. <laughs> it was pretty funny, though. They cut down the trees oh, for shit. Oh, I, I, I because, bro, I if, had I been on the other side, I'd be like, oh, that's that's funny. That's fucked up. That's like, where you lose me. If it's hot, I'm out. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> a like, a naked dirty. tree looks so bad. <laughs> hey, you a dirty bastard yeah. for that, but I go less. <laughs> that's a good thing. petty move, bro. Hit him with was cut down the trees. I'll be in the car. They got a fine. They got fine for like $250. I was like, For cutting all those trees down? Yeah. There's a tree law you can't just yeah, do it yeah. but the fine is so low like they don't care about that yeah. they'll cut down all the trees it's cheaper than paying writers mm. yeah <laughs> they're like we'll save the all this money but you know with the strike going on I have a lot of time to get more rest and when mm. I need to get rest <laughs> I get ghost bed <laughs> have you been waking up in a pool of your own sweat all oh, summer a it's pool so, of a pool people do that Lord. wake up in a pool of yeah, sweat. I'm I'm sweat. I'm I'm sweat. I need a sweater I'll be yeah. like god damn when you pee the bed it's a, he's like <laughs> If so, it's time to invest in cooling mattress. Luckily for you, GhostBed is having a giant Labor Day sale. Yeah. This is your chance to get an incredibly high-quality mattress with signature cooling technology for a fraction of its normal price. 
We love that folks like Ghost, but our family owned company. That's always cool, though. When you walk oh, in, and cats will be like, hey, hey, hey this is my son. This is my <laughs> grandson. <laughs> and they've been making mattresses for over 20 years, so you can trust they know what they're years. doing. Buying a mattress from them is stress-free with free shipping and a 101 night sleep trial and industry leading warranty. 101 nights. That's a third of the mm. year. I will say that her sweating when we got those. And you were like oh. decrease? It stopped. Oh. She she's, it is cool. It, and the mattress is soft. <laughs> you take it out, you know, you'd be like, there ain't no way this is gonna do. Mm. <laughs> like, oh, oh, this is the whole, this whole mattress. And Kati gets in and just psst, the no, steam like, coming it on. Nice. And, it's, it is cooling. Most orders ship within 24 hours, mm. so you can be sleeping better in no time. <laughs> Head to ghostbed.com slash issues and use code issues. issues now to take advantage of the Labor Day sale and save big. That is ghostbed.com slash issues. issues and use the code issues to sleep cooler today. Well, not literally today. You got to order and then you can sleep, but you guys know. <laughs> Get that ghost bed. Don't ghost be a bed, fool. That good old rest. I could tell I'm a grown man now, man. I had a I had a nightmare that So you're 40. <laughs> my trash cans was full. <laughs> Why was it so scary about it? Because they pick up trash on Monday. <laughs> oh, oh, you're and it was empty. And I put I put the trash cans back on the side of the house, but in my dream, I opened it up, they was full. They was full. <laughs> I was like, no, you, no. <laughs> I woke up. Man. <laughs> grown grown man nightmare. Man. They striking now too. The bins. <laughs> Aren't they? Yeah, because they didn't come pick ours up. Oh, that oh. was no nightmare. That really happened. I oh, got. Wow. I, I went out there oh, and I was really? like, hey, where the trash at? They don't strike? So they was striking. And so then they came later, like a couple days later. So I don't know if they solved it, but I only picked up the green one and the recycling. But the, I mean, sorry, the regular trash and the green one, but they ain't picked up no recycling yet still. Oh. So I don't know if that, I don't know if it's three different mm. branches or whatever, but they were striking too. I but think they are different. So yeah. the recy- whoever's recycling was like, they ain't came and picked up nothing. Mm. And I know that's an industry that they're going to cave because you got to pick up trash. Yeah. Like you have to. So they're going to get what they're going to be like I'm the like, streets uh, in New York. Yeah, I'm right. to New York out here. <laughs> I, I get trash, that. but recycling? I'm like, I can take I think that and get some it. bread. Especially where I live. People like, are going to be putting their recyclables in the regular trash. Yeah. They will start, yeah. yeah. But I think I think they they'll fix it because where I live, they always, like, they like it to be clean in that area. Yeah. Like, if you, like, it ain't no leaving stuff in the alley and it just stay in the alley. Like they, they come, pay those people. they come and get that stuff out the alley. And they trash come and, is important. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, that's certain things important. are like, hey, pay these. I people. need you to yeah. get this trash. Mm-hmm. I realize my block don't have no alleys. <laughs> you live in a nice community. Yeah, you know, it's all right. There ain't no alleys. Yeah, I just alleys. thought about that. There's a, there's a fucking fountain as soon as you enter your <laughs> community. <laughs> <Right? Yeah. laughs> ain't no fountains in there. Ain't no back alleys. Give me your wallet. <laughs> You come you get robbed in your area, town. you like you you got you deserve it. <laughs> Man, where do y'all roll dice? Then? Walking around right. with a sack with yeah. money sign yeah. on it. Take this. That's crazy. I'm a fan of the alley. A Are back you? alley. Mm-hmm. I don't like L.A. alleys. I'm a fan. What alleys do you prefer? I, I do Coast? prefer East Coast alleys. They just remind me of Gotham. I just think yeah, of Batman's yeah, like parents visual, being visually, murdered. I'm like, yeah. It's always fall coming up from the ground. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I like those. Like, oh, I'm going to get no, stabbed. No. Like, it looked good in movies, but in real life, I'm like, this just I'm looks like a good. crime. I'm not right walking happen. down here. Yeah. See, in L.A., people hang out in alleys. In New York, or it's like you avoid the alley. Right. It's dark. No, they be hanging like, out in there. Yeah. What doing activities. Doing the <laughs> the villains. Yeah, doing activities. They Coming out of the shadows. People in there like, mm, you ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? <laughs> Batman. Thank you. No, thank you. I'm not an alley dude. Oh, you did? I was thinking where you did. You did have an alley in Burbank. Oh, yeah. Right behind the, yeah. Yeah, yeah right I always walk through that alley. <laughs> so as I come home, I'm in the alley. Yeah. Different alley, though. That was a good alley. It was, that was big. Like a four, that was like a four way alley. Like, you can hit it was it from big. Way from different spots. Yeah. Man. It was all right. Yeah, that alley was. It was whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what alley? I used to walk through the alley to go to the movie theater. What alley so did I you would see? take alleys all the way down to the gym, too. Right. I'll just take good, the alley all the way down. Oh, you on the alley. I'll be in alleys. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm an alley kind of suit. It's a good shortcut. But it just hit me. I'm like, yo, ain't, ain't no alleys. I'm just, I'm like, what alley did you see that you go, like, this is a good alley? This is what I'm talking about. Because you're like, you're like bourbon, you're like, ah. It's not certain a great alleys. Alley. Like I remember, I remember my aunt's alley and where? my grandfather in Chicago. Uh-huh. My aunt, I mean, my grandfather used to hang out in this garage in Chicago. 
the garage is in the back of the house. Mm-hmm. So the the garage door opens, you come out in the alley. Mm-hmm. So you get a lot of hangout in the alley, mm-hmm. for real, because the garage is there. Mm-hmm. So you get drunks in the alley. They're just hanging out. They're they playing mm-hmm. dominoes in the alley. So you get real hangout in mm-hmm. the alley. Okay. And I used to walk through that alley. And I remember the first time I, I, I found out that some dogs is punks. Because it was this big shaggy dog. He used to always run up on me when I was walking through the alley. And then mm-hmm. one day I was just fed up with him. Oh, man, just get the hell on him. <laughs> 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 I mean, it was a suck, man. So ever since then, I was like, oh, you back again. I used to punk him all the time. <laughs> but uh, all that, but the alley was legit because it was like, those alleys, you can get some some hangout going. Cool. You know, so. I just think so the environment. NWA, Boys in the Hood. Stay out Ricky. of alleys, yeah. There's some alleys, yeah. yeah. Be like, oh, they, 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 they up top. Yeah. Like, they, my, they got the weight bench out My there. mom and dad grew up in South Central LA. My dad said my uncles would always catch people in the alley. Yeah. 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 So when he would walk my mom home, he would hit the alley, and when they couldn't see him no more, the nigga run all the way home. Oh, smart. Because they was always catching people in the alley. Yeah. Cops caught you in the alley. And mm-hmm. cops, yep. And uh, gangsters caught you in the alley. And the so. cops would catch you in the alley, billy club your shins, and then drop you off in the wrong neighborhood. Ooh, God, and make yeah. you walk home. So, and my dad hates the police to this day because yeah, he was like they oh, pick us, club? they pick us up, hit us in the shins, and then make us walk through all these hoods. The the hood police oh. is a little different. I know people yeah. that caught fades with police. The police get out, throw the gloves. I respect on, that. Put the yeah. gun, uh, guns right. away and be like, "Let's go." Oh, I like that. Yeah, I respect yeah, that. I respect yeah, that. Yeah, that's fair. fair. You, that's not fair. They're trained. They're no, trained still fair. Combat. Because yeah, when it, it depends who you are. Because you know. uh was was my man that led the crypt? Tuki was beating the shit out of cops all yeah. the time, but he, you know, he was massive. He was going head up with him. No, yeah. he used to. With my my auntie and them would be like, they'd be like, oh, what happened? You heard what happened around the corner? And what happened? Tuki beat about four of them up. Oh, <laughs> like, he was I always beating the guy. That. I, I prefer to come with your equipment on. Yeah, yeah. Clear up. Train I, I prefer they did none of those things. And I mean, <laughs> if we had a choice, yeah, but if we had a choice. You, yeah. you gonna have me a gunpoint, helpless, uh, cuffed geez. up, yeah. or we can square yeah, up? Yeah, square give me the square. Fight like a man. Yeah. You beat the, you beat the like fuck out of him. You beat the fuck out of him. He gonna arrest you? No, no, no. They leave. They leave. They gonna come back. They leave. They have more respect in the neighborhood. Usually, if they if they take it and they just leave and don't come back with no bullshit. Say somebody right. else that ain't on that same shit, you gonna think, oh, we finna square. He's coming up with the gun out. Well, you gonna have a dirty cop, for sure. But if you have, if they squab, the other gangsters be like, nah, let them live. He good. Leave, leave off. People would respect alone. the police if they had like more community. If you had a relationship with the neighborhood, yeah, like if you took your L or one, whatever. Yep. Hey, that, that, that cop cool, bro. You went head up with, you know. He's squeezed. It'd be it, ain't, it ain't never. It would. Yeah. If you respect, knew. Yeah. The problem with the police is they don't know the people that they police. Right. Them. Right. If you know them, you see a little kid doing some. Oh no, that's just. You know, yep, Mr. Johnson from down the street. Yep. Don't worry about him. He Dude, good. You, you know, know better than this. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's a different. Man, your yeah. aunt Bianca told me to come down here. Here you are. You're going to respect me. I'm sorry. Like, you you right. know, officer, you whatever. Right. I'm going to take it back. Yeah. That ain't, that ain't right. That's job, how the yeah. cops were where I grew up. They had like an explorer program. They used to be like that. Yeah. So when you was like six years old, they take you to Yankee games and stuff. Mm-hmm. So the cops? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's different. That's community the, policing is is Definitely. Community environments in general. Like when you send your kids down to the store. I remember we grew up like that. My yeah. mom would be like, take this money, go down there. And they'd be like, I tell your mom I said hi. Mm-hmm. We knew exactly what to get. Yeah. So that's how I learned how to hold money. Because one day I had it out on the counter and the dude snatched it. Never leave your money out. I was like, oh, all right. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> learning lessons in the yeah. neighborhood. I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. But he already knew the order. We did pick it up, you know, walk. Me and my brother would walk. And we we all of five. I think yeah. down five, south is still a little bit like that, certain places. Uh, I don't it depends, smaller man. The, I don't the, the, the communities like and stuff are yeah. going more like subdivision, like anyway, or more like apartment style. They're taking away like local things, mm. uh, and I noticed that more like even when I went home in Virginia, I was like, "Dang, it still feels like that." But they're gentrifying the hell out of everything, oh, yeah. so that it's it reshapes how it used to be, and then being like out, like, what do you do? There's mm-hmm. nothing to do, like specifically for you or what your community was. They, these people are not the same. Mm. These people don't know you. They don't care. And they're just mm. totally different things for people to do nowadays. So every city is a little different, but it's more like individualistic now right. than it used to be. Yeah. Yeah. That South. stuff used to be cool. Go down there and take your brother. Yeah. You uh-huh. go to a little corner store or whatever, and yeah. you know the person in there. They know you. They know your family. Yeah. That person know your family down the street. You know that person lived there, that house, and all that stuff like right. that. We used to walk like home that. in elementary. Let me ask y'all yeah. this. Do y'all get nervous still when the police get behind you? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yes right now. I'll be watching. Today. Yeah, yeah it, be it's been like a pay attention to like. I'd be, be thinking, even though we're even though we're 100 legal. 
Yeah, yeah, but I try to think I'm what, like, what might you have on? not I've not yeah. paid. What the oh, hell yeah. you on right now? Yeah, I'm like, what you pulling <laughs> me have to think about my rear view. I can my make phone ready. Yeah. Like, let me get ready to record. Look at that rear view. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's crazy. Cop get behind you, make you think about anything that you possibly could have done wrong, yeah. like in the past. Oh, what like, you couple, looking for? Yeah. Yeah. What the, Every single time is a, is a actually legit tail light. My tail lights go out. Mm. Like it's cr- <laughs> it's insane how much my tail light. Cardio called me to light the tail light out. I'm like, what the hell? It gotta be some electrical. So every time, and I be acting like ultra innocent. Oh. They be like, you know how I pulled you up? No. Oh, you yeah. <laughs> what, what? You be knowing it was out? What, I, said, I just came back from feeding the poor. Uh, <laughs> you can't let him catch you again. <laughs> and then he'd be like, right. no, you just get that tail light fixed. I'd be like, all right, all right. Yeah, a lot of times, once they, once they find out you clean and you good, you good. And I'd definitely be dropping the job. Where you, where you headed? Oh, I got a show. Are oh, you a comedian? You know, mm-hmm. they switch their energy. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I talk shit when they drive past them. Yeah, bitch, keep on moving. With your <laughs> I talk shit in their face as well. Well, that was a different situation. We were ro- racially profiled. Chaz a loose cannon. We were racially profiled. That <laughs> I forgot day. about that. Mm. We were racially profiled. Hey, I got racially profiled in Georgia. That shit was not fun. Did you get arrested and spend the weekend in jail? Nah. Well, uh, that part is not fun, sir. Did you stay in uh, oh, dick yeah. to cheeks with the random uh, man? <laughs> dick <the> cheeks. <laughs> you, ever feel, you ever feel the steam of another man's balls tingling yeah. your asshole? Was it worth no, a chance? Sir. Would you do it again? I, I forgot you did. Again. You had to go through the whole thing, huh? I did. <laughs> Nothing but penis that was a, with penis. Honest, I still always say it's not like a the best thing ever uh, happened. Uh, like a, you're a good guy. You have no record. We don't got to well, bend you over and make your call. I had a warrant. I did not know. Oh, you weren't a good guy. Even that oh, don't feel good. even that don't feel good though. What you mean? When they do, I, they pulled. We was in coming back from a party one time. Me, and my brother, and his friend. We, you know, we drunk, whatever. And they pull us over for some bullshit. And we didn't give them too much lip because we had an open bottle in the car, like blah blah. blah. Yeah. So we was just like, oh, cocaine fuck. on your lip. So, <laughs> so dude in the back is cool. freaking out. What's the problem? <laughs> he ain't never been like experienced nothing like this. And we yeah. like just just relax, blah blah. So he was like, you know why I pulled you over? My brother's like, nah. He's like, because your your light on the license plate is out. We're oh, like, yeah. this is a 92. So there wasn't no lights on license plate back then. Like, there's, what are you talking They're about? They're going to find something. They have to be. That's, that's uh, By law, you do have to have yeah. that light lit up, though. Right. But that on those kind of cars, they, it wasn't a thing. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, this is a 90. It's old, you know? Yeah. He's like, let me get all your your IDs. And dude in the back was like, why do you need mine? I'm not even. He's like, give me your ID. So oh, dude yeah. is like shook. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, just chill out, you know, because we got stuff in the car, whatever. So then oh, he was he, the dude that knew his rights. Wow, we gotta give yeah, up. but he was but he was scared though. Like he was like literally scared, and he was like, so dude took all our IDs. He came back. My brother had his. He was fresh out of the Marines, so all he had his military ID, and all I had was my college ID. Mm-hmm. So he said, he said, oh, military and college. Well, it looks like you guys are some of the good ones. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, that shit. It was so fucking racially. You like, to say yeah, thank you, but, but I, you was like, Ooh. I was like, this motherfucker right here. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you guys are two good ones. Okay, well, you, you guys like, yes, we are. Thank you. <laughs> no, nah, fuck that. I was like, yes, we are. And he was like, like, you're good mothers. to go. So, dude in the back had never experienced like any racial. Uh-huh. So he was like, why did, why he say that? Like, why did he? And we was like, nigga, why do you think he said that? Like, come on, man. Because you got a bottle of Hennessy over. Yeah, there. Like, <laughs> but but the good ones thing, he was just like, so what are you saying if we not? Most of them bad. I'm like, yes, that's exactly what he was saying. Like, yes. yes. The good things y'all had this discussion on the way home. Oh, yeah. You know right. what I mean? Like, Oh, no. In the moment, yeah. we, I was like, shut the fuck <laughs> right. up. Right. Be quiet. Jazz would have went off and we going to jail. jail. This is bumptious. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that, officer? Did you forget, no, 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 did you, forget no, no. you were black? No, what are you saying, officer? <laughs> well, you got to understand, man. Did he forget he was black? It's not that I forgot. That's exactly why we were being pulled over. because we right. like, I forgot I had a warrant. Pulled over on foot. Dog, we were literally standing there. We were walking. <laughs> mind you, mind you, the cops were in a car driving. Pe- we might have been on Sunset, maybe. No, y'all were in North Hollywood. No, no, no. no we, we were in Hollywood. Not, we were oh, in Hollywood. Yeah. Random open mic. Maybe by off of Sunset and Beach. Chaz, Sitar is leaving, having a good time. Yeah, and that's what I told the guy. Standing oh. in the parking lot talking, bro. And then the cop pulls up. They busted you to come up in here, right? Uh-huh. And then I remember, I remember he had like, they took the lights out. Dude asked me, he was like, yeah, did you have, he was like, you had a cigarette on it. He was like, it was something like that. He was like, yeah, it's a cigarette. Then he was like, this is a pimping and narcotics investigation. We were like, oh, wow. what? And then we were looking at it. I was like, they're not even sick. I'm not, people don't even smoke. What are you talking about? They thought we was the pimps and Sitaris was. Oh, wow. <laughs> who, who, who was in like a, a like a, like she had just came off of work. So she was in like a skirt and like a professional skirt. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know they said this is a pimp. Yeah, what, what type of bad what? business is yeah. that? Right. Like, what? 
Go on to Denny's. Like, These pimps are struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Let's share this one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's when I was like, no, no, we're not doing this, dog. This is bullshit. Y'all know it's bullshit. We're not, I'm not going to, no, I'm not staying quiet about this. Now, had I had knowledge of this warrant. You would have been quiet. Oh, officer, you know what? You're doing your two diligence. And I <laughs> applaud you because there's a lot of pimps and holes. <laughs> Two broke pimp. Y'all would have needed earning. Let's go into this. Oh. Okay. That was a reach. I like that. <laughs> Two broke pimps. Earning. Sometimes he's, uh, earning. Life doesn't happen bi-weekly. <laughs> so good. why should you... <laughs> what? Uh, life doesn't happen bi-weekly, so why should payday? Mm-hmm. The money you earn can be in your hands today with earn in. Earn in. Earn in is an app that gives you access to your pay as you work. Up to $100 per day or up to $750 per pay period. Okay. Just download the Earn In app and verify your paycheck. Then access up to 100 a day as you work and leave an optional tip. Any money you access plus tips are automatically repaid from your next paycheck. So oh, uh, uh, my son's going to college. My daughter just got back. And hey. I told him, you know, y'all both have to get jobs. Right. <laughs> like, we got jobs. <laughs> like, These are the way they're supposed to be. Because like, they always coming up short some way. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, all right, now we're earning. I'm like, call your uncle Ernie. Because <laughs> <laughs> he could give you money that you can pay back. I like that. So make mm-hmm. earning a part of your financial routine. Enjoy earnings. Over three and a half million customers who say things like, when I think about earning, I think about financial stability and security. Mm. It gives me a lot of peace of mind. All right, download Earning Today, spelled E A R N I N, in the Google Play or Apple App Store. When you download the Earning app, type in Daddy Issues on the podcast when you sign up. It'll really help the show, Daddy Issues on the podcast. Subject to your available earnings, daily max, and pay period max. See earning.com slash TOS for details. Earning is a financial technology company, not a bank. Bank products are issued by <laughs> Evolve Bank and Trust. Member FDIC. <sighs> <laughs> it happens, guys. It I feel you. <sighs> I was looking at I the thought I read it all. I read it was the, you know, it wasn't the fumble. He just I didn't say woo. He goes, <laughs> You didn't say the woo, woo <laughs> but your face did it. You go, he was he was mid-read. Yeah, so whoa. <laughs> just like no, just, after he said there's more. I was like, <laughs> He like, just stopped. And then he just and I need uh, some young guys. Uh, it was a there was a lot on there. He kept Man, scrolling. I was, I was like, like just a lot. It's always harder not to laugh when you're not supposed to laugh. That's oh, it I makes it funny. Oh, God. He gotta start laughing. Keon was in tears. As soon as I paused. Cause I can hear and I can hear it this <laughs> His arms start shaking. <laughs> Tony was like, mm. I hear the clicks on the keyboard start going. I can hear him struggling. That's what making me laugh harder. I was with Craig. I was like, what's up, man? Solid read. Until that one part. Yeah. It happens. <sighs> but the earning <laughs> is what made me laugh. <laughs> 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 Wait, how am I petty? Not a me. What did I do? He started giggling when I first started. Oh, Tony? Yeah. <laughs> well, I was laughing at the transition. Oh, man. <laughs> man. Two broke pimps. You ain't even earning. See? <laughs> <laughs> the fourth, the fourth like, transitions are always funny. The fourth transitions. We went four uh, four uh, transitions. I was like... I'll be trying uh, to get it right on the time. Hey, man. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's Sometimes you can't. You sometimes you get like them, That's no what makes mine unique. <laughs> That's what makes it funny, though. They got questions? Oh, let's see. You got a question? I don't have a question. Okay. You got to scroll back up. Let's see what we got up in there, man. Shout out to the chat word. Nana P asks, who is your funniest person you know that's not a comedian, and what is one of the funniest things they've ever said to you or you witnessed them do? Hmm. That's not a comedian. Not a comedian. I got a bunch. Uh, my friend Shannon be having me dying. Uh, her name is Shoe Gang Shan on um, all the socials and stuff. She just be cracking me up, man. It just be her delivery on stuff and the wordplay. I just be dying. So, so on average, she be having me laugh the most. On a regular basis. Um, 
<laughs> and, and 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 one of the things when anybody fumbles, I'm just childish. So fumbles are always funny. So when <laughs> so when she fumbles, and we both be like, oh oh, it's just mad funny. So that's mine. That's probably more if I think about it. But I would say my moms and my step pops. They're like an old sitcom couple. <laughs> they get along till my mom gets tired of him. Like they're both going through this phase where they're like almost disabled. So they trying to help each other out. And at certain points, my mom just gets frustrated and be like, come get this stupid nigga. <laughs> like, <laughs> how, how you go look like this? You was just feeding them and shit, and making sure he had his pills. But I, I would say them. They're like uh Fred Sanford and uh, Luana oh, Page. Uh, that's gotta be funny. Uh, I had a boy in high school, Darren, that was just like I couldn't be around him. If if, if it, we wasn't supposed to laugh or nothing, like I was just like, you got to go somewhere, bro. Like he was just that funny. Like he was supposed to start standing up with me. I was like, you got to come do this, bro, because he was just so funny. And he was like, ah. him, my brother's hella funny. My brother makes me laugh. Like which one? Keith. He makes me laugh. Like Keith's funny every day. Um, what does Darren do now? I'm wondering if he's killing. He works at Costco. At. Oh, he killing up there. Yeah, he, gotta be killing he was just there. funny. It was the way he talked and like his faces he would make, and he was just funny. Yeah, like he was just hella funny. <clears throat> and then my brother just makes me laugh because he's like, he's just sharp and he's smart and he's just be quick humor and you know we got hell inside jokes and shit. So he just makes me laugh. I have to say, my sister, Shalanda, my oldest sister. Just super sarcastic. <laughs> Nothing gets by her. You know what I mean? When you're when I'm dead serious, it could be a serious convo. She gonna make me feel just dumb by saying, you know what I mean? Just super sarcastic. Always funny, always witty. She probably should have been a comedian. I say my sister. Uh if I'm my boy James. Happy birthday, bro. Uh oh yeah, I saw you posted that. <laughs> yeah. That's my my buddy for the longest. He uh man, I remember we were spending the night of his house. Had to be Middle school, about to go into high school, and we're playing Road Rash. Remember that game? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, we're playing Road Rash. <laughs> and then uh, his sister comes in, and she's playing. Man, I can't remember what happened in the game, but we laughed so hard. His sister farted, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we clowned her the entire night. We clowned her for years. And it was like, all right, good night, sir. We did that to oh, this wow. day when we see her. It's still to this still? day. Oh, <laughs> to this day, it's childish. Um, but I just remember Mad Times. Just, uh, I wish she definitely... Join the join the fray or uh, became a comedian and I always wanted us to be this ebony and ivory tag team, mm -hmm. tag <laughs> uh, team comedy tag duo. What's he, what, what, where's he working now? I think he works for like Red Cross or something oh, like no. that now. Yeah, he's out here saving lives. Doing the Lord's work. Shit. Yeah. I remember my boy back in the day, John L. <clears throat> John L. Howard. John L. John L. Mm -hmm. And man, me and him used to laugh so hard. He had like a he had a really distinctive laugh, kind of jokerish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me and him would be just dying and stuff. And we would just laugh at the most random stuff in movies and TV shows. <laughs> and it would just be like, What what are y'all laughing at? <laughs> we would just find I remember I remember something that's my new I remember Back to the Future too. We was laughing at Biff. Everything Biff was saying. <laughs> we was co quoting and laughing at, but it was one scene when Biff was watching a Clint Eastwood movie. And he was in that hot tub, and he was like, "Man, look at it. look at this right here." And when Clint Eastwood dropped his little makeshift, it was a western, so he had a mm -hmm. makeshift bulletproof vest, <laughs> it was like a big sheet of metal, and he dropped it on the ground. His toe was turned in, just to avoid that big ass metal piece. <laughs> we dying at the turn in. Like, why? <laughs> he he pitched his toe just so he could avoid that clank. <laughs> we just be dying. I be looking for him. I be like, "Man, where John Nell at?" Oh, you ain't in touch with him no more. Mm -mm. Oh. I'll be. Uh, I found him one time years ago, and then I lost. I lost touch again. I'll be wondering. You be thinking it'd be easy to find people, right? I be. I be looking for one of my teammates, um, Snoop. That was what we used to call him because he looked like Snoop. Mm -hmm. And he used to. He was the guy that like you know you had that one friend that was always at your house. Always mm -hmm. like Darren was one of those, and and Snoop yeah. was like we were. Freshman in college. Mm. So he was always at the house. My mom was like, where's Snoop at? You know what I mean? Like he showed, when he got his tattoos, he showed my dad. Like, yeah. hey, look what I got, though. You know what I mean? He was always at the house. He's from Indiana. And um, that dude, he used to just make me laugh yeah. like, all the time. And then after school, 
uh, I found him once mm-hmm. and he was hooping overseas and everything. He had really went and played. Dumb. And then, but he wasn't like on social media and yeah. stuff. And I was like, man, but Snoop used to make me laugh. If you ain't on social media, man, we, we, yeah, you where you at? Find, yeah. Right. Yeah. It took me forever yeah. to find Leon. Man. Imagine before social media how hard it was. How did you find Leon? Social media? Yeah. Yeah. How do you track people you know, down searching. when they're when they're not on social media? You gotta I mean, talk to people in the I city. You think the they're in? Yeah, yeah. 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 I ask people like, "Whatever happened to someone? What happened to the Howard family? Right. Yeah. 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 Boy, get out of my face! <laughs> <laughs> when, I they, was, I was gonna, when I was young, we didn't exchange numbers and stuff. People just came by your house, and knocked on the door. Mm. So as we got older, that's just what it was. So when we moved, there was no way of contact. Isn't it crazy how back in the day you could remember phone numbers? Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, you had to. Yeah, <laughs> that was crazy. Girl, man. I like that. Yeah. Like, you remember that day too? Yep. Oh, yeah. man. If it was a girl I like, uh, I quoted yeah. that shit. Hey, Chad, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> remember the number? I'm putting this in memory. Hell yeah. I had my little black book. Yeah. Oh, I definitely had yeah. yeah. a black book. I had a little sure. pencil and I write mm-hmm. it real small yeah. in there. Lydia. <laughs> but who numbers can y'all do y'all know, like, off the top? Like, just right now? My mom's and Cotty's, that's it. Is I it? know my own. Oh yeah, mine. Of course. I know Sabrina's number. I know. I know Cherie's number. I don't even know Cecilia's number. I don't even know. I don't know Avi's and A's. I do not know Yo's number. Yeah, I do not. I know my dad's number. I know my dad's. Do I know? I feel like I lost the memory of my mom's number, the house phone. My boy Jazz. Oh, she got two phones. She got the house phone and her. She got the house phone and her cell phone. But I, you know, I rarely hit the house phone anymore. Yeah. Hey, I can't even remember that number. I can. If you don't change your number, like I used to know Keith, and he changed his number. Oh, you changed that. Yeah. And my dad, you know, he changed his. How long y'all had y'all same number? I've had mine since I've had a cell phone. Me too. Since college, I've had the same number. My number hasn't changed. Yeah, I think mine's been the same for like my change is fifteen years now. Two thousand. 2004 Seven. for me. Dang. I changed yeah. it every 10 Mine's years to get the dead weight off. You know what I mean? Oh, you do? <laughs> no, no. But I've changed, I've changed it once or twice, I think, since I've been here. Oh, because I've been broke. Yeah. I've been like, ah, I can't afford this. You get a new phone, you <laughs> got to have a whole, a whole new setup. <laughs> like, ah, I messed this whole thing up. That's why I get annoyed if people can change their numbers too much. Yeah. Lock me in. This is my new number. This is yeah. the third time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you doing, who you hiding what from, kind of drugs what drugs you selling or something. Yeah. But listen. Jackie just did I'm that. I'm keep doing Hit this. me up the other day. New number. I'm like, See, what you I, doing? Because then I got to go in and edit yeah. and save and edit <laughs> and switch you around. I got a few numbers on Shantae. Oh, real? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got a few. <laughs> BT, I got them in there multiple times. I never, yeah. 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 never changed Craig. Uh, Craig just Craig's come up and be like, who is this? Mine just keeps changing. Man, enough. I know my mom's, my ex's, my youngest son's. And, you stalking uh, your ex? No, that's just the code that we put uh, always put in at Ralph's. Oh, okay. For the discount. So oh yeah, that, that'll that help you remember oh, yeah. number okay. two. Sure, sure. The code. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then two. Put in your phone. So I remember What's I know the Shiras because I'd be using her code. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just the code at Ralph's. It's no longer her number. That's I still yeah. a discount code. Yeah. Dang, I gotta learn my wife's number. You don't that's know that's I say you don't know yours. That's crazy. <laughs> Even with all the forms, you feel. I think I learned a lot of stuff from forms like you know especially back in the day when you had to fill out applications oh yeah you had to have a reference you had to have so that's how i learned my social security number when i started applying for jobs yeah i, knew that I was that writing it so, yeah. so yeah, much so that my mom's number um and like Cotty's is because we always fill out form for the kids and also i know all her information by heart because i'm always writing it y'all remember, y'all remember your old address growing up mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yep i remember i remember like my old house number. Up, yeah. i remember a few mm-hmm. of them i remember mm-hmm. that number from the old crib uh, I, I still look at the houses because yeah. I want to. I want to go buy it. Sixty three yeah. East Thirty Sixth Street, fifty two seventeen Pruitt Ranch Drive, Anaheim, California. Four one two five River Shell Lane, seventy five fifty three South Indiana, mm-hmm. thirteen West Sixteenth Street, nine one one sixteen Oakdale Ave. Seven seven six two Outlook Avenue. Two Oakland. two five Outlook Gary. Fifty three nice. twelve. Yeah. Nice Clark view. Right in the hills. Yeah. Yeah. Two two five Gary Street. <laughs> see the Coliseum. We can see the Coliseum. <laughs> Oracle. <laughs> It's an outlook view. Yeah, oh, we, outlook. we went on a uh, Zillow and looked up our old houses to see what it looked like. And I remember the trees we had planted back then <laughs> was now they are massive. Like, oh, really? That was what third twenty five, so twenty five years ago, something like that. Uh-huh. So yeah, the trees are huge. The backyard, um, they painted some stuff that that um, the porch we had put put in the back. They painted that. 
um, the, with the grass still there, stuff like that. We'd be, look, we'd be looking at the house. And now I'd be looking at the inside of the house. I think the house that I grew up in is now worth like close to a mil. Mm. I mean, oh, wow. Yeah. The ours is way higher mm, than what it was really? back then. Yeah. yeah. Close to a mil. <laughs> Pretty sure the one I grew up in is not worth it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> houses don't really uh, grow that well where yeah. I was, anyways, in Lansing. It's not the a surrounding huge area. Yeah, you know, the Bay Area, area Silicon. For sure, for sure. You've seen the surrounding area. My projects look the same, but the surrounding area is nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Somebody says, stop, they're going to use this info. Mm, it's old, right. It's old, yeah. so, you get sometimes, the new one. sometimes you can, you can, you can see like the previous owners of the place. No. I wasn't not sometimes the owner. Be asking but I, I wasn't, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. Identity yeah. Check I was a like, baby. What your old yeah. address? I was a, I was a child. All right. Yeah, yeah I was a child years ago. No. I, I didn't list none of my addresses that my name was on. That's my childhood stuff. Stalk my parents. Yeah. How about it? Go ahead. You want to stalk my mom and dad? Feel free. My aunt's house got... Sold and then redone. That house was nice. That was man. the one that was next door. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, man, I want to. I wanted to buy. Mine. I should have bought yeah. it when it was Weird. dirt cheap. Oh. And then when I went back, I was like, somebody bought it and then refurbished it, mm-hmm. hooked it up. They made it nicer, way nicer. Oh, look, it's <laughs> incredible <laughs> now. <laughs> Damn it! You know what? Because my mom and them still and own their childhood house. Man, it looks great. <laughs> Tony gonna buy it and. Turn it right back to mm-hmm. the old. Don't turn house. back to the boarded <laughs> windows, <and> <laughs> faded, <laughs> red. Yeah. Damn it, man! I be seeing these places in Detroit, Lansing. I'm like, it's so cheap. There was a house in Lansing. It was like ten, fifteen thousand. Third cheap. They're I paying like, people should, to take I over. Go the get this thing now. today. But I'm then a, you got to do buy work. Al Capone's old crib. Is it up? I think so. I'm gonna look at it and see. You got to buy that. About. Yeah, that's probably a historical landmark. When we were in Chicago. Yeah. We drove past some people's houses. They were like, remember. Um, when we were on that tour, and he was like, "That's such and such house." Oh yeah, um, the the uh, the Marx Brothers lived yeah. here. Yeah, it was like uh, uh, Ida B. Wells. From Chicago, yeah, yeah, Ida B. Wells, Marx Brothers. We were right in front of that, that tour. House. Was fire. It was amazing. I was like, man, I used to walk past this every day. It, it, yeah, I know the Marx Brothers uh-huh. used to live here. Yeah, they said there's a gang of cele- uh, celebrities from Chicago. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. All That's a ton of The Marx Brothers were. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know. I was like, what? It was a high school we went to that he was telling us about. He was like, it was so many stars that, yeah. that went, I forgot what school it was, though. That tour Harpo was dope. Garage. That tour How was, was he the funniest? And all he, not the funniest, but was so funny. And all he did What's was the other one's Harpo, Groucho, and? Groucho, Chico, Chico. Harpo, Zeppo. Oh, uh, I don't think I ever heard of Zeppo. Zeppo was kind of like the straight man of the crew. And oh, the other okay. three was the, the cut up. I just like, remember Harpo from... Uh, I love Lucy. I love Man, Lucy. Uh, Genius. Harpo was funny. His name was Harpo. Harpo. Yeah. He didn't talk. I thought there was he had a little horn. He would just be. He had a little curl. He had a curl. <laughs> and, 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 and he was like a put master his, of his he body. He would put his legs in somebody's hand. He I'd be talking like to him does. seriously. He just put his leg up and they would hold him. Silly, bro. <laughs> I thought it was only one Harpo ever from Color Purple. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the only Harpo I ever. What if it was the other Harpo that beat her? You told Harpo to beat me. Now here, here's a question I have for anybody that's familiar with the color purple, the book. Was Harpo originally in that story, or did they just add it when they shot it? Harpo was the son, right? Harpo was he Oprah's was Danny Glover's son that was married. Yeah, to, yeah. Oh, that was married to Oprah. Married to Oprah, getting his ass whooped. <laughs> so, so it just happened. So, because Harpo is Oprah backwards. That's what oh, I was asking. That's the name of her production studio. company. Mm. So I was like, did they do that just for Oprah or was it originally in it? Uh, I was like, wow. They said he's in it. Oh, he was in the book. That's crazy. That's just coincidence then. Okay. That, that is crazy. So is she naming her production company after the color purple or herself? Oh, which came first? Is the one Har- Harpo Beater? And Ooh, then she named Harpo her production me. company after him? You told me. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg Wait, has the funniest squeak? one. If- Huh? Who was with Squeak? Remember Squeak? Oh yeah, Ray Don John. Yeah. Who was? I thought Harper was with. No. Yeah, he was trying to move forward with, with her. Squeak. Yeah, yeah but squeak. she wasn't having that. Okay. Remember they were in the juke joint. Yeah. And she and Oprah punched her into the water. <laughs> Oprah got an Oscar nomination for that. Yeah. She deserved it. She was outside fighting all them white men. Yeah. Whoopi Goldberg deserved an Oscar for that movie. Oh, she was absolutely amazing. So I in feel there. like they got her back with Ghost. Because as good as she was in Ghost, I don't feel like. That was Oscar worthy. Yeah, nah. Ghost as a whole wasn't like an Oscar worthy. This is a good film. Nah, it was dope, it was dope I like but I don't think it, I think Color Purple hit a little like hard. Well, she but deserved, but I just feel like because she went up against uh, she beat out somebody. Oh, she beat out Lorraine Bracco 
and Goodfellas for that ghost performance. I'm like, no. Oh, okay. Lorraine Bracco and Goodfellas was head and shoulders. It was kind of like Denzel. Was that the white? Tra- like oh, Denzel. Oh, yeah, she was like Denzel training that. Yeah. He got his Whoopi for training. Whoopi deserved day. it yeah. because you know how many people went up to her after that movie and just said, you show sure live. <laughs> she was like, what? She just acted her ass off. And that was, was like amazing, her first bro. movie. Yeah. No, I feel like Leonardo got his for- The Revenant? Yeah, you were like- What did he deserve it for? Shoot. Here's the thing though, he Wolf lost, on Wall he lost on Wall to some fire competition though. I don't feel like was Leo he was Gilbert's getting robbed. Great? Who did he lose on the Wolf did on he Wall Street? He lost, to, he lost to Jamie Foxx one time for Ray. He was going yeah. against- Ray, Ray, For the aviator though? Jamie, I think it was the aviator or yeah. something. Yeah. He should have lost. Ray was amazing. He uh, Catch Me Now. Catch, catch Me If You Can. I love that movie. I think he lost- phenomenal. He was great I think he lost to- Matthew McConaughey one year. Oh, for Matthew that. McConaughey did Dallas Buyers Club. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, it just so happens he was just going up against stiff competition. So it was never a point where it was just like, man, Leo should have got that. Yeah, he he did. Leo was never robbed. Yeah. Yeah. Did he but, win for Basketball Diaries? He didn't That's win for movie, bro. He wasn't even movie. nominated for that. No, he was. He, 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 he went full. What did he lose to Wolf of Wall Street? Once he can give a grape, I got to see who he was up against for that. He, he went full. Amazing. He, he, he might have got Jack. He went full. <laughs> he did. He went full. He, he might have got Jack in there. Yeah. On what? Was he? Was he Gilbert, he Gilbert Great? Johnny Depp was in there too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So, but yeah. What was Denzel supposed to get one for? Malcolm, Malcolm X. X. Malcolm X for sure. <laughs> the Hurricane. Yeah. yeah. What, did he get one for Titanic? He got one for Training Day. No, he didn't get nominated for Titanic. Damn, Leo, I'm sorry. They oh, my like that. Yeah, he didn't even get nominated for that joint. Damn, Leo sure didn't get a nomination for mm-hmm. Titanic. He was great in that. He was good in that. But other stuff he was better I've only seen that one time. Titanic? Titanic? I, like, I saw it in the theaters. Oh, like, that's it. Right. What movie? Titanic. Oh, oh, I, was yeah, say, right. I think Kate Winslet got an Oscar nomination, but I don't, think, I don't think he got one. Yeah. I remember crying on Titanic. Did you? Yeah. I wasn't crying in movies then. <laughs> right? Yeah, I cried. But I felt it. I mean, yeah, I, was I like, can respect it. Yeah, when, when, when he died. It was, it was a just, sad situation. Yeah. And she just watched him die. Yeah. Didn't rotate. Yeah. The I used to do that on stage all the time. <laughs> Rose was a selfish bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she could have rotated and shared the raft with him. Or what's the last movie y'all cried on? Oh, I'll be crying all the time yeah. now. Shit. Um, the last one I cried on was uh, the one with, with Will Smith when he lost his daughter. Oh, uh, collateral, collateral beauty. Oh, yeah. I, was, oh I ain't see it. I, I, I was on the road. I cried on Pursuit of Happiness when he was walking down the street. I cry. I, I go to that scene just to cry. Yeah, I folded. I was like, when he gets the job. Yeah, nah, I folded on that. I was on the road. I remember where I was at too. I was on the road just watching movies. I, was uh-huh. like, I want to watch this movie. I was doing Rooster Teeth Feathers. Yeah, it's, I was just like, oh, I'll put this on. I was watching. I was like, what the oh, hell? Oh, was it a long cry? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the best ones. But I had kids by then. So it hit different. Okay. Yeah, once you had kids, man, I'd be yeah, crying at everything. Hit. I cried at Guardians of the Galaxy. The new oh, that was good though. Oh, but I, 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 heard, I heard a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not mad at you for that. <laughs> I didn't cry, but it was good. I yeah. folded yeah. repeatedly. <laughs> I'm not mad at you for that. I folded in the beginning. I remember y'all talking about how good it was. Right? When he said, yeah. "It hurts." When he was when he was a baby raccoon, yeah. I, my eyes were watering in the beginning. Oh man! When they was that all was in good. the cage, I was just like, "Man, look at you." Cody, Cody, and uh, Kendrick folded. And then that hand came in to grab him, and in the end, and it was like, up. "Can I go with you guys?" Man, <laughs> it was like, and then his friends, time. man. Oh, when they got yeah. his merch, oh. and then when they were struggling to bring him back to life, and, oh, and yeah, Quill they, was just man, I was like, that movie was good. That movie folded yeah. me up for sure several times. Yeah, I'm just. I don't he didn't want to be that. idiot. He was like, "I'm ready to go with you." Man, that movie folded me up yeah. on many levels. They put him back in the cage, and the lady came up to him. And he's like, "It hurts." It hurts. Like, oh, That's all he why said. Why you do that hurts. to him? I was just like, "Come on, man, <laughs> <laughs> give me a chance." <laughs> <laughs> that, that shot up so far on my Marvel list. I was oh, like, that was a good Guardians movie. of the Galaxy. That's why when they say superhero fatigue, I get it, but it's still that, some fire because that one out. though they didn't do it. Guardians as a super, was fire. It was just a no, good. They made movie. a great, a great that story. A great, smart to go off a rocket story, man. Because otherwise it was pretty thin. But that was like. Man, heavy. What's my favorite movie of the year so far? Really? Easily. Yeah, bro. Good. Fully watch it. Easily. It was good. Easily. What'd you say? I was on a plane. Oh. I was on a plane and then I woke up <laughs> and just put it on. I remember y'all telling me this it's movie's good. great. I said I'm a fully watch I woke up to it being, I was like, this shit is good. And I didn't even, I was like halfway into it. I was like, this is good. Yeah, Guardians 3 is fire. Yeah. And the action was good too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think I've cried after that. Uh, it was something I watched recently. I folded. 
when's the last time y'all folded and made like sounds? Like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like not just a silent cry. From a movie? Yeah, a movie. A zub yeah. That- <laughs> <laughs> The good, the the uh, one movie that tore me up was uh, a better life. With who? Damien Bashir or something like that. Uh, you talking about that movie? It was about a Mexican immigrant. He was here illegally in this country, ah. but his son was born here, so he was just like a landscape dude. And his son got into trouble, and his dad ended up taking the rap for him, so he got deported. Ah. Yeah. And they were they were having like a conversation while he was like you know in jail. Uh-huh. Told my ass up. Oh, dog. <laughs> I was crying. Yeah, <laughs> extendedly. Yeah, like, in the parking lot. I was in the car. Like man, I'm still, still fucked up. I think no film is really good when it hits you. Oh yeah, man, you know, that this, movie they had the whole convo in Spanish. He's like, no, they were speaking English. English. Yeah. <laughs> it's some movies I won't watch because I know I'll fold. Man. Like, I ain't seen John Q since I've been a father. Oh, I'm not watching that shit. I laughed at John I'm not, I'm not, I'm not watching that shit. Craig. What are you talking <laughs> about? His oh, head bro. size made me laugh. Oh, <laughs> John Q. John Q, I was able to handle for some reason. I took it good. I wouldn't be yeah. able to do it now. Not but now, good. if I watch it now, forget it. Now. Yeah, I'm forget good. it. I'm Especially when Denzel was like, you, you, you got to sell out. That whole speech mm-hmm. to his kid, you be better. Like, I'll be afraid to sell for a little when, bit of when money. When Baby G uh, died in Harbaugh, I cried. Oh, my God. I almost yeah, did. I, cried. I, cried. I almost <laughs> got me. Yeah, and I, the only reason why I didn't, because I was at the movies with two girls. Yeah. And I was yeah. I refused. Sometimes yeah. girls will keep your tears in check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened to me when Optimus Prime died. It was girls. In the animated movie. And then that would have got me. The girl wasn't there. Oh, man. Man, that whole scene. Why they do that to kids, oh, bro? That scene. <laughs> Toy, no, Toy Story. That was that might have Toy Story three. Three. Gr- grown man. Grown that's men were tough. crying. I was. I was, with, I was in. Wait, three. Which one? Toy Story three. three. The, the one with the they were hanging like over the fire. To get cooked in the end. Yeah. Man, I was. I was with all my high school homies, and it was like one of the moments that came up on the screen. We was all sitting there, and I looked up. Everybody looked at each other. We was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. yeah. It was like ten of us. We was like, yeah, man. yeah. We all felt that, right? Yeah. Mufasa I died. I cried. Who? When Mufasa died. I didn't. Yeah. Too, I did because really I wasn't crying then. Really? Only because I wasn't crying. There, there's oh, a whole span where I just wasn't crying. He lost his dad. I just oh, now if shit. I was to watch it now, I'm done. Yeah, I, I avoid the scene now. Uh, Selma, the first oh. minute of that fucked me up. I was like, God damn. When when Octavia Spencer had to go identify her, her son. In the morgue. Oh yeah, uh, I don't remember something like I that. I know dying. I saw it. In I it. Something. They yeah. opened it up with the girls getting bombed. That, oh, that's, that's right. right. That's right. Not like that's right. I'm sorry. That was Fruitvale Station. I was yeah, thinking that about. Fru- I haven't seen Fruitvale because I've heard well, it's, she had. It's, the, oh, she yeah. did yeah. have. I did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was like, but Selma had a similar scene where somebody had to go look at the body, and Martin Martin was there with the with the family member. I think it was the grandfather. I think Lakeith Stanfield character had died, and then oh, the grandfather yeah, was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just so remember I seeing like, that in theaters, and it was so it was. Yeah, it was heavy. I should have watched it at home because, <laughs> like, because that theater it was so like you know them fight scenes, the violence scenes, like, you can hear like the crunches, and I was just like, this is. Yeah, it was. I walked lot, out man. there like I was just like, oh man, fuck this. Like, Did you enjoy was, your movie? Shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, I was like. <laughs> I was like, all right, man. That's what yeah, I was like. I, I'm think. glad I saw it in the daytime, but it was yeah. with my parents. I was like. Everybody got out of there was like, shit. Do y'all feel different when you watch in those kind of movies and it's like, you know, white people around in the movie theaters? Do you wonder what they thinking about it or? I'll be, honestly, I'll be like, yeah, take this in. Oh, you be like, I'll be, yeah, I'll be like, I'll be looking at them like, I'll be like, yeah, like, watch this. You, yeah, like, like I you want them to see, yeah, I want them to see. But I don't be looking at them like, yeah. If they there, I feel like. They get it. Right. Uh, I, I, stopped, there. I stopped watching them, those movies like around Amistad because they start coming in bunches. And I was like, hey, hold oh, on. All these white produced early. slave movies, so slow down. You dipped out in 97? <laughs> 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 start, then it was like a span of like six or seven or eight in a row. Well, you hit right. something on the yeah, head right yeah. there. The I used to be like that. And white produced movies. slave movies. I was like, the oh, Harriet movie, this. bro. Oh my Is that God, not good? Like a white produced slave movie? Not really. They do the white savior shit. Right. A well, lot. Is, is that also because then you go like, well, it's a black film, and then you're like, well, there's a lot of white people making a lot of money off these of his black hurt. You know what I mean? It's, it's I don't know if I look, yeah, okay, I'm just getting a different perspective. When you start yeah. seeing the names, you start seeing directors and producers, and you mm-hmm. go like, where's all the, the then black the people? Historical context of it, these the writers. Well, then yeah. you look, I look at it like, damn, 
we couldn't sell a slave movie. How they sell 18 of them? <laughs> That's crazy. Django Unchained? I'm sure somebody came up with a slave revolt. Well, yeah, we had a slave revolt movie. And, they didn't let it come out with Nate Parker, them. right? Well, yeah. because Nate, yeah. But Nate had his issue. Also, it wasn't that great, though. But Nate had his issues yeah. also. He that had nothing to do with the story, but it was still, it's like, it's, saying, it's more so like the person that's spearheading you. I feel you like people didn't support issues. that film, though. I did. I remember watching but then he had some stuff come though. up. I'm not yeah. trying to bring it up. He yeah. had some stuff yeah. come yeah. up. Yeah. 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 But I don't think that was the reason. A lot uh, of women support those type of movies. So when they brought that up, especially since it was such a... Uh, I wanted to see the movie. Because he had that and the other one that he had just did. Uh, Something of a Nation. Uh, yeah, Birth of a Nation. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was oh. like, I wanted to see it. But then the girl I was going to go see it with was like, nah, he has this going on. I'm not supporting it. I was like... I, oh, went. Yeah. I went. I went. I went with a girl. Mm. She didn't get Watch it together. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it together. She's like, he ain't touch me. Let's go. Because sometimes, sometimes <laughs> the 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 film should transcend that. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. So it's like, especially if the case is pending. Too, but I feel right? like they went soft on the revolt, though. Yeah, that's why I didn't like. I don't like that's that's, that's what I went for. They went soft on that part of it. I was but, like, oh, let's get busy. See, yeah. I noticed that they, oh, they released that stuff right before the film came out. Right. And I was to, like, oh, you're yeah, you just trying to. Yeah, that's what it felt like. I mean, this is the era now, great. bro. Anytime you get popular, they're going to go dig up everything yeah. that you've ever done. Sometimes your shit should come out when it's right. that time. If you if you a piece of shit. But also, I don't like how they, they <laughs> don't have the same energy when you, like, what, what, what's his name? Jonathan Majors. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She done left and fled the country and everything. Mm-hmm. And they like, nah, yeah, come back. Important. Yeah, and, and like, nah, say, say that part. Yeah. You, you, everybody, you canceled them quickly. Right. You took all his reps. Yeah, you got to make, the, you gotta nah, make that, that as same loud. Energy. Yeah. Yeah, you got to make that just as loud. You gonna I, saw, be... I saw an article, because Marvel was sticking with them. Mm-hmm. Good. Oh, well, Disney, Disney, Disney has, like, a couple projects with him in it. Did they apologize out. or? That they still putting out. They apologize. Disney don't need to apologize. They didn't, yeah, they, they never, never left. Oh, they didn't. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, okay. they I, never, thought they, I thought they, they should. Ain't got nothing to apologize. For. Okay. The and military, I, now, the army should. Yeah. The military. The army. Yeah. The army oh. ad that he was doing that was in theaters. Yeah. They pulled that. So yeah. they owe him an right. apology. Oh, thanks. Shout out to Disney. But Disney was just like they were just waiting they, it out. They were just people game. <laughs> yeah, I thought they all let him go. I thought they all. Mm-hmm. No, nah, Disney was like. And honestly, a lot of people was like, I'm gonna wait. To you know, I heard a lot of more. Out. I heard a lot of scrutiny. Like I heard they was like, he's done. I, I just, did. I keep getting the. Uh, they just don't want us to have any greats because every last one of our greats, they try to throw some sort of slander on their name, even if it's not really even slander. Like when they're talking like the now the Barack thing, it's like mm-hmm. oh now all of a sudden they're saying, what they saying? he was gay. Yeah, they saying like, that he wrote a letter. They said he wrote so a letter what, to something. a girl. And in that letter, he confessed to her that he fantasizes about having uh, sex with men. So there's a whole, there's there's a whole white so, dude who like, went it, in there so, talking about yeah. all the stuff that he did. It's like you're not a bombs type. I didn't see, I didn't see none of that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I just heard. Yeah. Yeah. That they, blow over. They tried to throw the slander on. And it's yeah. not necessarily slander, but it's like, yeah. why? Yeah, they're just looking. Trying to ruin his tour. Looking money for a story. Maybe he's gay. Mm-hmm. What does that have to do right. with anything? Well, that what they try to do is take away his uh, black male audience right. because supposedly black males fight against that. I would like to think they were growing Not past supposedly, that. they do. Yeah. They do fight against that. There's a percentage. Oh, yeah, for sure. Mm. Definitely older. It's an annoying percentage. Definitely older. It is. For sure. Y'all don't like it. loud. People should mind their business when it comes to that stuff. Mm-hmm. But we're still in the pause era. That ain't changed. I pause anything sexual. Anything, it's just funny. I don't even really do the pause. Any, anything I never did. Yeah, I never. Anything did that's it. said in a sexual manner, it's not just relegated to gay. It's just anything sexual. You're like, oh, pause. Like even when I'm talking to girls, sometimes mm-hmm. and it sound like you know sexual. I'll be like, pause. I never did it because I'm just like you. I'm like, who the gay one? Like the person who said something just. Regular or the person who's looking at it is gay. You know what I'm right. saying? I'm like, so if you say pause, that means your mind is on some gay shit. I'm like, how you saying pause to somebody else? You know what I'm saying? I was like, ah. I remember when it got hot. Because my boy said it. And I was like, what that mean? Mm. He's like, oh, that's when I was like, man, fuck it. Fat Joe had the best one, though. It's like, I like dick from Kansas. I was like, that's 
<laughs> what, wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, He's talking about a basketball, basketball player. player. How can you not say oh, Paul? Oh, Grady Dick. How can you not say yeah. Paul? He was on like, that. yeah, I like Dick from Kansas. Uh, and they were just like, you could have said he like Grady from Kansas. <laughs> Thank Grady you, Fat Dick. Joe. <laughs> Dick is good, though. <laughs> Dick is good. Did he go to the league? Yeah. Dick yeah. is good. Yeah, yeah, Dick is good. He can play. Hey, he was cold. Yeah. <laughs> he can play. He came out early, too. Yeah, he came out a year early. I mean, one year. That's right. That's right. He can ball. He, yeah, he was so stuff like that. I go like that's press probably, play, man. Yeah. <laughs> that was a lot to take. You think he went out his way to say? No, I think Fat Joe was just talking. Yeah. Fat Joe, he's, he's not a joke to like that, yeah. right? So I feel like he was sincere when he said it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dick, I like Dick from Kansas. Yo, Cam and the radio. <laughs> but it's the way he said it. He was like, "Y'all like Dick from Kansas?" Because <laughs> he talked aggressive. Already. That was Fat Joe. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We weren't even talking sports, but uh, that, that okay. Al- that also shows he's was that, aging was that the Grammys? now. <laughs> where you don't pay attention to that. His debut in his album. That's his album title. <laughs> I like Dick from Kansas. It's like Terror Dick Squad. I get it. <laughs> he can play. Can we get to do his third ad. Yeah. I'm about to do it right now. Oh, uh, another one? Yeah. Speaking of Dick from Kansas, I was like, what? <laughs> you know, what? That's, that's, that's crazy because it's a Bluetooth ad. And oh. that, that's why I didn't want to transition when we was on that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's talk about sex. Dick from Kansas, whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> Guys, remember that in your days when you were always ready to go. Well, now you can increase your performance and getting that extra confidence in the bed. And listen up. BlueChew.com. It's a unique form uh, online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis and Levitra, but in chewable tablets at a fraction of the cost. Mm-hmm. You can make, take them anytime, day or night. You plan ahead for whenever the opportunity Arises. Mm-hmm. Arises. Uh, it comes in a discreet box. Nobody knows. Take it. Boom, boom, boom. Do your thing. Um, the best part about it is all done online. No visits to the doctor's office. No awkward conversations. No waiting in line at the pharmacy. None of that. And the tablets all made in the U.S. and prepared and shipped directly to your door. Like I said, in a discreet package. Um, I've used it. Good time for me. <laughs> she didn't really like it, but you know, Good sometimes time. you gotta take one for the team. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You'll walk. You'll be all right. Walk it off. Uh, try Bluetooth for free when you use your promo code issues <laughs> at the checkout you just pay $5 for the shipping that's all Bluetooth.com promo code issues and receive your first month free again that's Bluetooth.com for more details and important safety information and we thank Bluetooth for sponsoring this podcast thank you Bluetooth thank, thank you Bluetooth, Bluetooth. I like yeah. saying Paul's worthy stuff when we playing Call of Duty <laughs> All the time, like man. what? Because, like you know, we'll be playing. We'll be playing a match, and I camp. So, if the if the normally like when you play a team death match, your team spawns on a certain side. Uh-huh. Wherever y'all at, that's where you spawn. Yeah. When you die, so if my team pushes forward and goes to the other side, they'll respawn over there. That means the enemy will spawn where I'm at. Okay. So I'll be like, Yo, man, let me know. If y'all pushing, because my ass cheeks is open. <laughs> my, my booty cheeks is spread wide back here because I'm camping. Yeah. So if they spawning behind me, I'm, yeah. I'm done. So I'm they like, gotta and tell my booty you. cheeks yeah. are spread. <laughs> so I just be saying shit like that all the time <laughs> on CLD. Because um, I be camping. You don't ever try like to not camp? No, that's not my style of play. Oh, uh, you just do it on that board. Yeah, be camping. So when you respawn, Camper! you already aimed right there and just keep picking. No, them up. I don't. I don't spawn camp. Okay, I, I just camp. Like you know, I quit the game. Come over here. Camp is just chilling. So you, can, you almost can't spawn camp on Call of Duty now. What is spawn camp? That it's like you, when you in the area where the other team is going to spawn. So you're waiting for somebody to like pop to up. Oh, to kill them. Yeah, I yeah. spawn camp when we do like a private match where it's uh-huh. like there's 10 of us in the small stage. Yeah. I'll do that then. Okay. But That's when you when throw the remote. The other teams. BS. Every time you come to life, it's like, it's trash play. <laughs> oh, it's not, it's not like. It's, it's frowned frown upon. upon. Yeah, you don't even get a chance frown. to oh. do nothing. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's like cherry picking all day. Ah, yeah. okay. He's like, dog, get over here and play defense. Come play defense. Get in the game, bro. No, two points. Yay. Yeah. Or that person like when you play tag that guard the base. Yeah. yeah. Come on, come on. Get oh, your life play, dog. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. Like, yeah. You gotta come here anyway. Yeah. Like, come on, bro. Gotta, come here gotta get through later. me. Like, run. Let, we running. We out here. <laughs> that defeats the game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then, then you play. You be like, all right, man, I'm out of here. Man. You quit. You just go. go I used to hate the, the cat with the stand by the base. Man. <laughs> That's just yeah. Tony, man. That's him. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> That's yeah. You're you're, a, you're, a, you're the guy who stands by. The, you're the guy who looks when they just hide and see. <laughs> I be camping, man. Trash. Like the dudes that don't try to steal the flag and steal the flag, they just camp 
Like, man, Trash. go try to steal the flag. Mm -hmm. That's the best part. Capture the flag is fun. Cap that's, that's, that's kind of the point. Of in real life, capture the flag used to be fun. It's a dude right. in laser tag who just stay at your base shooting it. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> just shoot it. Yeah, just shoot it. Getting all the points. <laughs> you gotta be mad that I'll be camping, though. They'd be like, yeah, camping. I'm like, yeah. Can't they snuff you out, though? Can't yeah, they? Like, can't they, they, they catch here's, you. What, here's what annoys me about people that have beef with camping. Right. You know where I'm at. That's what I'm saying. You know, nah. you know where I'm at. I sit in one spot. Come kill. You know where the fuck I'm at. That's I'm what not, I'm saying. I'm not going to different spots. I'm like, yo, he's up there on the staircase. Yeah. Come kill me. It's not like I'm in a spot where I can't be killed. You know where I'm at. It's still fair game. It happens all the time. I'll yeah. be like, Psh, I kill three people. Somebody going to be like, I know where he's at. I'm going to come around the back way. Do that. Yeah. People will be <laughs> acting like I've been just doing this amazing shit that can't be <laughs> they, 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 they can't do, yeah. <laughs> like when I know there's a camera on the other team, I'll be like, he in the bell tower. Yeah. So I'm going to make my way to get to him. It sounds like it was part of the game. It's part of the it's game. It's fair. People just be mad, man. Campers. Scarpy star. <laughs> <laughs> Chaz don't even play. It used to be rewarded. I play because of campers, man. You said it used to be rewarded? It used to be rewarded, yeah. If you used to camp, it used to be like, I'm going to get a kill streak. It used to be a thing. And then the gameplay changed to be more fast paced, run out, rush. And now they went back and kind of punished it. And then it's from one game to another, it went from, we're running, everybody run, run, run. And now it's like, you could just wait. And then as soon as you get shot, you be dead. It's like two bullets and you're dead. Like, no matter mm -hmm. what gun it is, doo doo. And then I know, Tony, you be playing hardcore, right? Yeah, I play hardcore. So you're like hardcore, there's no, on Call of Duty, they got the kill cam. What's hardcore, so he, like, level, like, uh, it's, it's, hardcore, it's, it's hardcore is like, you, no map. They don't show hit. you who killed you and how you died. It, you, there's no oh, kill cam. they do cam. or they don't? They don't. But they, they don't. Yeah. You so have no idea where you get shot from. Like, you yeah. literally be like, boop, and you just, you end up dead. Why like, do you want to know where you got shot so you can know? So, so you, you know where the person is. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, the kill cam shows you how you die, basically. Like, Call of Duty implemented the kill cam. It was, like, just great shit. In hardcore, they don't have it. There's no mini map. There's no you there's no HUD. You can't see like where your thing is. Yeah. You don't know if that's a teammate or enemy. So you have to be it's real, real life. Real life. <laughs> it's, like, it's like NBA 2K on uh, Superstar playing it's real playing. life, yeah. man. No, no one, the difficulty, the hit, difficulty right? doesn't matter. Yeah. And it's more like you just once. Can't oh, okay. Yeah. Well, no, you can get shot multiple times. It, it depends, depends on what on kind of gun. gun you have. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be mad. I'd be like, yeah. doo -doo 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 -doo. My gun, my Even gun shoots slow. That's another reason why I camp. I don't have a You got the sniper rifle. I'd be like <laughs> one shot. Oh. one shot. And most of those guns are Stop already one shot in the core shot. modes where they have more health. So yeah. you just be running around like on shipment, bro. They with them marksman rifles, they be kick pissing me off. Cause they use them like shotguns. You go around the corner and then before you even get to see the, the other character, pow, and you be dead. Man. Cause you're just waiting. You see the little glint from the light and then Runners be ruining the game though. The people sometimes. that have no weapons, just the, knife. No, the people that <laughs> run the whole game, they can't they can't sit still for a second. You'd be like, yeah, that's not yeah. Ain't that good? I'd be like, yo, lives. I'd be that's like, me. we're losing. Just just sit down for a second to stop the bleed. I can't. I got to keep running. Yeah, I They done died 23 times. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so and now that's, that's 23 points you gave the other team. Just because you, you get sit snuck. down for right. a second. Yeah. That's, that's, that's annoying. That's like what you... happens. I'll be like, yo, everybody just chill for a second. The other team is aggressive. We don't have to be running out there. They're going to come to us. Nah, that's not how I play. They be running out there, mm. racking up the points, and then like I'm having 25 and 35. You got to like, balance yeah. the campers, bro. It's just like yeah, <laughs> anti camper. In hardcore, running out is a destiny. Oh bro. man, come on, man! You trying to win, or you just trying to play your game? I'm trying to play my game. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck up my team, man. <laughs> you be moving people off, man. Because I'm team oriented. <laughs> Back in the day, it was like you if you, you get in the game and other your whole team be bad, you had to carry them. Like it, it was disgusting. And the whole other team is like great, and then it's just you. Yeah, I'd be cutting and, the mic off. I'd be like, let's just go. Cut my music up loud. I don't care what y'all trying to tell me where y'all are. We'd be strategizing. We'd be like, y'all watch the left, watch the right. Y'all watch the right? Craig in his own world, bro. He's just out here dancing That's in the middle what, of man, a war. Call of Duty lobbies be killing me sometimes. Because I'd be like, how are you even enjoying the game? You got so much shit going on in the background. Oh, man. You know, music playing, like dumb I loud. Never, I never listen to shit. I don't know it's how you Or people that play on their, like, no shade. Play on your TV speakers. And you're playing Call of Duty, and you're trying to actually it's be on my team shit. and play. Uh, you're out of here. Oh like, yeah, you know. y'all always. Which I want the off. headphones. The, you you got they got the headset, 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 headset. right? Yeah. You I be getting stabbed up. People be trying you to finish like moves on, TV, on me. If you playing on TV speakers, just imagine like trying to hear where somebody's coming from. Oh, you can't hear it. You don't know what's going on. You're not aware of what's really going on. Y'all be like, "Hey, you got headphones?" Y'all be asking people, "You got your headphones in?" 
Nah, we just be like, man, what's up with your mic? Like, like, yeah, the mic like, used to be the indicator. Just <laughs> be, <laughs> a lot of scrunching going on. <laughs> what you doing over there? Somebody come in with an echo. What's up, y'all? Y'all, all right, man. Yeah, so, <laughs> so somebody echo. say something, they go back in their mic and yeah. they come back to you, and it's like, I just said that. Yeah. It's, right. And people be like, it ain't me. Then you mute me, them, me. and yeah. the echo's gone. <laughs> yeah. It was you. you. And you can't adjust how loud somebody is. So if they come in hot, like, yeah. it can overpower the game. And For sure. It's, mm. yeah. it's a real deal thing. Like, Got to really lock in. They still mm. making a lot of money playing games? Gamers? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, one, that that one dude caused a riot in uh, New York. Yeah, Kai. Oh, he's a gamer. Yeah. Who? Well, he's, That's a, how he's, he's, a, he's a streamer. He's on Twitch. Kai, Wait, he caused Kai. a riot. Yeah. Yeah. It was a in riot. New York. He went out in, in New, New York. York and was like an unplanned thing. He was going to do giveaways. He was giving away PCs, PS5s, right. and games and stuff like that. But he didn't get like no permit to do nothing. And you know, the kids love him. You go to New York or City. Or security. Yeah. No, he enough had, security. He, not enough. And then he got went to like a park and then it was like mm. thousands of people showed up and they started See, they started doing crazy stuff. Square yeah. What's his name? Kai. Uh, Kai. Kai Sinet. You never seen him or heard of him? He's the one I, that going, set off the fireworks inside the mansion. I've never heard of him until. Yeah. Because we was in New York the day after it happened or something. So we saw the, they was cleaning up that park. We it was bad. What did he look like? Uh, a little short. 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 Short internet personality kind of thing. Like the way the streamer is like a lifestyle thing. Like he don't really, he plays games sometimes, but that's not really his thing. And he's in a group of people that do this kind of stuff. The What's AMP, the other dude? Evan, not uh, Aiden. Aiden. Aiden went to a different platform. He he going like right wing. I saw T Grizzly making some bread oh, he, though. T Grizzly makes money doing GTA servers and streaming. The rapper? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. He's making a lot of money doing that. He said he made more money in gaming than rapping. Oh, what, 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 cool. what, 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 Shit on everything else. Absolutely. It's not even, it's like Absolutely. not even close. Crazy. Not even close. Crazy. GTA 5 made a billion dollars in a weekend. Right. And they oh. rapper would be happy when they land a song Crazy on, a, oh, for on sure. a video game. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Licensing yeah. and stuff yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah, what's the name? Yeah. Gotta be killing because he do, he do a voice on there. Who? Um, Slink. Yep. Slink does. Yeah, he, yep. sure he did. did. He did uh, like Lamar. Snoop got a So they get big money to go yeah, when people you, playing with Snoop. Well, they're, they're, they're voice acting. The same thing like in the union and stuff like that. Like oh, they're, they're getting hit with the strike too because you can't do like, you can't, you're not supposed to. I don't oh, think damn. you can do game stuff. I don't think. That's what I was wondering. Wait, who did they get? They got Snoop. Did they get Ice Spice or something? Allegedly, like? Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj, Nicki, Nicki Minaj, and Twenty One Savage. I think is the on oh, GTA. Oh no, Call of Duty. I'm oh. playing with Nicki Minaj. They, <laughs> they have music in there now. Like they added music because I was on there and they had like the, the hip hop. Isn't there another and... rap character you could be? It's, there's one more. I... Back in the day, they had they definitely had Snoop Dogg as a, like a um, Snoop, Dogg Snoop Dogg's been now. an operator. Plenty of times. Ice Cube was a voice actor for announcer for I think uh Black Ops. I was shooting the hell out of like Snoop. That. Wait, so if you night. if you was playing with Snoop, wait, <laughs> everybody was Snoop. Like people are characters from the boys. So I was killing Homelander. Homelander, I'd be tearing his ass up. It's person. <laughs> I'd be Homelander, uh, yeah. what's the girl? Starlight. Mm. And I'm, black I'm actually what's his name? Black Noir. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's the thing, the skins in the game now. Like yeah. they, but they look like the person and they Absolutely. talk like them too, which is the crazy part. Like Snoop oh, talks talk. just like him and everything got his, mm -hmm. it's him. It's it's not like it's, they made it so much. Like they it brought him really in, him. it's really him. And Nicki Minaj, when that's really her, and when she gets in the game, it's going to be really her talking, it's going to look like her. That's crazy. Gonna talk like I told her. you we going to go crazy. up in the bungalow. Nicki just gonna be you can't me. take Nikki in the di in the bungalow, man. Nobody gonna see us fighting. Games are fun. Craig is like, yeah. how do you undress her? <laughs> I think man. I'm just pet like I think I ain't played in so long that I'll be like starting all like over. It's like trash. a uh, it's like any other people uh like the knock games which is like it, it, this and that is just rotting your brain. It's like it's any other form of entertainment. If you get a a good game or whatever, it could reel you in, and, and it's another you know. Fun. It's fun. Yeah. I just got yeah. back. I, on. I, I understand gaming. I don't understand how people watch people play games. That's what I don't understand. Yeah, I'm not in. It's almost like you look at it almost like sports, but it's like I could just go play the game, or you can go play the sport. No, that's the thing. My brother it, tried to use that argument. I can't play in the NBA. I can't. But you can figure out moves that they do and different tactics that they but use. But it's not. Like, when I see people play, like like, like, like any video game, anyone on the planet. Can go play that game, but how good can but you I play can't the go game? play in the NFL? I but can't go play in the NBA. Even then, like it depends like on who you're watching. It like might be just a you person. Play it's either the personality. You can, play, you can play all the sports you want. Yeah, but yeah. I can't do it on that level. But I'm you can't like, get in the tournament. Like, yeah, that's, what happens, that's, that's what happens when they watch the video games. They can't do what they do, but they still watching them do. Because I be watching the game. I can't even play against NBA guys. Like even even if I get my ass whooped, I don't have that opportunity. Well, no, that argument is you're saying I can't play in the NBA, so I'm not going to watch. 
these people watching people play video games, they can't play to that level, but they watch. But they could, though. I can't. I physically can never. They, they, I they can't do it. Can't. I'm going to be not honest. Like, you can't the, play the, the way some no. of these cats yeah. are playing. Like, why? The, 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 the hand-eye coordination. The skill yeah. level that some of these kids are going to have in, like, I have a cousin who is so much better than me at yeah. games. He's only, like, 12. It's like you tell Keon in hasn't gamed in a while. Because you play against somebody, you're like, hey, there there's no way you can it's no literally, way. It's literally to the how, point, like, yeah, certain games, it'll be this. the skill level. You watch them play and be like, I, bro, I there's no way my I, mind, can I cannot. I play some cats on Smash Brothers, bro, and you be killing it, and then you'll find somebody, you'll be like, there's no, there's there's no, no way. way. You'll be like, no, yo, you're cheating. You'll be like, no, this is just this how is, I'm this good. But I would still rather play them. I couldn't even move. Well, if they want to continue playing, you're just like, peasant, But I'm saying, I'm talking about the idea of just watching them. Like, put it this way. This this was, I would rather play LeBron James. Every day, if I could, I would play him every day versus watching him. But what you, you would do is you would go watch tape. Guys. So which is the what video a lot of games, people do. They, you they can, watch. They get you better. can do that. I can't do the stuff no, that with, I would like to do. With the video games, a lot of them are in tournaments that you have to have a certain level in order to even get in those tournaments. So they're not playing against just regular guys, right? right. And it's like the, it's they're looking it's the at this up for the personality too, like the person too. They like watching what they're talking about while they play these games as yeah. well. It's a thing of like. I don't know how to it's, explain it. It's definitely it's a reality show now. Because some, some people do watch just for that person. Somebody streaming on. And that's the thing, too. I'm not a reality show. Some people like styles of how people play. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not, not even styles. People are just funny. They just yeah. watch and these dudes. The, the clown. commentary yeah. stuff like it's that. It's, right. just, it's, it's a, a good combination of all of it. I was watching that dude from Bakersfield. Remember, uh, they were he, they started off doing skits. What's Kevin? Kev, uh, his name is Kevin the Gamer now. But he started off with skits, like plenty of skits. Now he's like doing gaming. He be playing like Roblox, I think. Mm. Something like that. Man, he's Roblox like, is ridiculous. Yeah, he's like huge at it though. Bro, you watch cats play Harry Potter, it was a good time, dog. Yeah. Because it was wild and it was fun. And especially when black people started doing the the black student unions of the Harry Potter and Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> Mad clowning, bro. And then yeah. hey, you can't tell me, bro, I'd be in there, you'd be like, uh, what was what's the uh the killer? Hey, bring it down, bro. Mother, you be in there, oh. Slytherin or whatever. No, no, I'm just saying, like they when you kill somebody. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but you, when you watch black people play that, you be like, this is not how this game is supposed to be played. Mm. It's mad funny. Yeah, see, mad I, entertaining. I just got back on it just for communication with my kids because they be on it. Mm. I be on it, not talking about killing people. I'm like, so how you doing, son? I get that. <laughs> Everybody's killing people all that. Like, but you playing. Like, yeah. You're not just watching them. Play. I'm dying a lot. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. I understand the playing. It's just watching someone do something that I can just go get the game and do myself. It's just weird to me. You said until you start playing, then you go, I can't do that. But right. still, I would still have fun playing At the all. game. Like I grew up, you play, you waiting for your turn and you want to play. I think you're too competitive <laughs> to just enjoy playing the game. <laughs> that, <laughs> that first game, you get shot 25 times. I can't see, you, I can't see Keon, Keon being already. a guy who doesn't want to win a game. Well, like, I just, why and then I you watch? get murdered. And <laughs> like, remember, like, remember as a kid, you just waiting on your turn. You didn't sit there and be like, no, I don't want to play. I just want to watch y'all. You wanted your turn. Sure, 30 some people years did watch ago, them. Keon. Yeah, like, that was a long time ago. Like, games of Some people did watch me play video games, though. Well, so it's not about the games, though. It's just the concept of watching somebody else do it. I rather <laughs> just When I was a kid it. and I was watching someone dope play, I would be like, I would, I would watch. I sit on the yeah, side. but I still want my turn. Bro, you watched my play Tekken Street though. Fighter back yeah, in the day yeah. on the. Yeah. You'd be like, yo, that. how yeah. are you? Because you'd be at an arcade, you'd sit and watch somebody yeah. that was dope. You'd be like, oh, There used know. to be a TV show in the 80s where they would play arcade video games. It was like a TV show. Yeah. We used to watch that. Yeah. Like, oh, they playing Centipede or they playing Dragon's Lair. I ain't never seen a game like Dragon's that. Dragon's Lair, yeah. Because yeah. if you didn't have a quarter in Street Fighter, if you didn't have your quarter, if you was out of quarters, you would yeah. watch who was playing. You would sit back. So it's just it's just people spectating. It's just not for you, but it's the same concept. You're just watching people play something. Yeah, I used for to watch hours? Street Fighter. I'd be amazed. I used to watch Street That's Fighter just, on the side like to hours, see combos man? and different things. Like, oh, I'd be yeah. amazed, bro. I'd be amazed how good people are. We're like, this yeah. is nuts. How are you doing this? Yeah, like I don't watch people play games, but I, I get it. And there's so many things to do. I mean, it's, it's clearly a thing. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it is. It's a massive form of entertainment. I definitely watch people to get better there. at something. I'm playing Madden, watching cats. Like, I don't know how you right. Do this. I watch just, people do like if I get stuck on the game, I might watch it. That I understand. I get that. I get that. But that's beneficial for your own playing. Yeah, yeah. I, I get see. That. I see what you're saying, yeah, but it still it yeah, still doesn't negate the fact that they're watching something. They're just spectating somebody doing something. Yeah. This is not for you, but it's the same concept. Can That's you not yuck you someone's too. yum? <laughs> I like that. Phrase. Can you not what <laughs> yuck someone's yum? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I heard that phrase from, but I thought that was funny. Like Keenan says phrase. it all the time. You real? Yeah. Can you not like, yuck someone's yum? <laughs> yeah, he says it all the time. Where you at, oh, DC? What time is it? Yeah. Um, here's the thing, San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> 
Me and Chaz. Yes, we'll be <laughs> there. Chaz. It's happening. Chaz and I have to sell more tickets to make sure that the show is going to happen. But if the show happens, San Diego uh, mic drop this Thursday. I will be there. And then uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, San Jose Improv with uh, with Marlon Wayans. But we're gonna we're gonna get these tickets sold. I need y'all to buy some tickets. If you're in San Diego, get your tickets. And so me and Chaz could come. <laughs> what's the what's the count? Right now the count is a wh- <laughs> huh? the count's a whopping four. Four? Four. Oh shit. Yeah, four. Yeah. You gotta um <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. So you gotta up the promo. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah definitely. Definitely. Yeah. definitely. You, no, and I mean you can't just you can't just do flyers. You gotta I I, 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 I just learned that, Tony. Yeah. I ain't you should you, you should have already knew this. <laughs> You posted a sketch and, and tagged it. Posted some sketches and yeah. Facebooked it and and no, the flyers that's ain't. For. No. You better flyers get a, get a no camera, a put them tap shoes on. They don't give a damn. They don't give a rat. Nobody ass. cares. But you too, nigga. Uh, yeah, well, I'm on. Yeah, this. yeah. <laughs> but San Diego, and I need y'all to go because I need my charger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, your charger's yeah, in. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Gregory at Craig Wayne's on everything, man. That's where I'll be. Jail. Listen here, San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> do, a, do a WWE promo. <laughs> Listen here, San Diego. <laughs> Me and DC Irvin are coming to your city August 17th. You heard him. And we'll be there and you'll be there. Yeah. Or you'll get some of this <laughs> and that. <laughs> and your mama will feel in her grave. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you said your mama will feel yeah. in, in, her her in her grave. <laughs> in her big ready <laughs> mode. That's big ready right oh. there. Oh, well, she's. Still alive, and I hope she can bring her old ass and <laughs> study's goddamn tickets. <laughs> if we're not there, let me take my other dick. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Chad, you're still gonna get paid. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, I'm somewhere. Uh, come, I think I'm in Chicago. Chicago, September 2nd, September 3rd, with Shantae Wayne's at the Den Theater. Hey. And then I will be in get Baltimore those with Shantae Wayne's. Uh, get your tickets. Get your tickets. September 22nd to 24th. Oh, I don't have the club on here. But I will be there. Go to Shantae's site. See Wayne's.com. And get your tickets uh, get now. Your don't tickets. wait. Get tickets early. Get them early. Yeah. Neon Keon. Yo, do <laughs> say you're coming out to the Chicago show. Let's go, fam. Um, Come from uh, Wisconsin, right? Or Minnesota. One, two, let's see. Minnesota, right? Friday, I'll be at Flapper. If you're local, these are local stuff. Um, Friday at Flapper, Sunday, Live Factory. Um, but as far as the road, the place where I need to sell tickets. Uh, oh, oh, shit, it's oh, only two weeks away. Sense. Phoenix, Arizona. I'll be at the House of Comedy uh, the August 31st through September 3rd. So get your tickets for that. It's coming up soon. Please get your, dick, t- 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 get your tickets. Um, I like dick. <laughs> I like dick. Get your tickets. <laughs> uh, I'll be Portland. I'll be at Helium Comedy Club. Um, I'm opening for somebody though, not headlining there, but I will be there. Uh, um, the September 8th through the 10th. Um, September 21st through the 24th, I will be in Minnesota, Mall of America, at the House of Comedy. So get your tickets, Minnesota, St. Paul, all you guys, Minneapolis. I know it's only like 10 minutes between it, so get your tickets in Bloomington. And then um, I will be in sad. Dallas, but that's <laughs> far. But And then, oh, Detroit, y'all been up my ass. I got the Detroit. <laughs> Detroit date just came in. Some of y'all buying your tickets already, so I think Detroit will be good. Damn, November, you fast forward. <laughs> November 30th. And then, yeah, just keyonpoly.com on everything. Um and Brutally Honest will be coming back soon. And I think that's it. Just keyonpoly.com. When is it coming back? You keep saying soon for the last Because we found a place now. to shoot. Hey. When is it coming? What's the date? You know what I mean? We found a place to shoot. That's a great show. That's what the hard Because it's a great show. <laughs> I was Marvel watching Walls it. Is weird, Probably, we, we, it was supposed to be this week, but then I have to do some stuff for work. So Get your Tony dickets. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Baker. <laughs> um, I love dickets from Kansas. <laughs> I always forget what to say when it's my turn. God damn it. Had plenty Verbal of cardio drops. <laughs> New episodes drop every Wednesday. Um, Ball Brothers Tours in full effect. Ticket sales in Cleveland are ashy. Ooh. Cleveland, you're messing up the rotation, man. Maybe you got to sort out other shows so far? Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Cleveland, who? You're fucking up the rotation. <laughs> Cleveland, what do you do? Get your tickets in Cleveland, man. 
Get your tickets, man. We'll never come back to Cleveland again. Man. Don't do us like this. Uh, when, when is Cleveland? Cleveland is next weekend, not this weekend. This weekend is Atlanta. Next weekend, next Friday is Cleveland. And hey, then Cle- Chicago is the day after. Cleveland, though. I'm highlighting you, Cleveland, because you 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 standing out like a sore thumb right now. Cleveland, get your tickets, man. Ball Brothers Tour, bring that ass. Um, <laughs> Tony Baker and Friends is back at Flappers Comedy Club August 28th. Get your tickets. Um... And also, the cities that remain on the tour are um, New Orleans, Phoenix, Dallas. Uh, Chicago sold out. Atlanta sold out. Mm -hmm. London, Berlin, and Paris. So get y'all tickets early. Wherever you at, wherever you be, get your tickets. Um, Check out Verbal Cardio. New episodes drop every Wednesday. Spread the word. And uh, I think that's... uh, Spread the cheeks. What? I think that's everything. Hmm? I think that's everything right there. So, uh, but Cleveland, Cleveland, listen. <laughs> I know Bone just got the street named after him. We gonna celebrate that. But listen, y'all need to get y'all tickets, man. Y'all playing around. Mm-hmm. Other than that, man, thank y'all. Shout out to the chat's word for being up in here. Uh, sorry, we only tackled one question. And uh, we out. I got we some out. Food spots for you.